Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, class. Sorry to keep you all waiting. I wanted to go ahead and start with my bio break because I just dropped off at camp and just came through the door. But I am so, so happy to be here with you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Maggie. I always like to introduce myself in case we have some new scholars here. I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class. Um, you are most welcome here. I am not a professional chef. I'm just a boy mom times two. I have two teenage boys and I'm a home cooker. That's what they called me when they were younger. I've been on a health and wellness journey, having always struggled with weight, um, but now at 46, I found what works for me. I've been working with a metabolic specialist now. This is year three. Um, I've been tested for food sensitivities. So in her office, that was a cheek swab for me and some hair samples. So I work with a list of foods that I can have, and then I have a list of foods that I have to avoid. Uh, but it's pretty much sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Uh, so what I do eat is lean protein, select fruits and veggies, little starch, and try to stay, you know, zero sugar. But all of the recipes that I make here, I would cook for you. I would cook for the family. Uh, you can always substitute with uh, full flavor ingredients. I use the substitute ingredients, but... Um, I've been told I make delicious food with a healthy twist. <laughs> so, yes, yes, y'all. Yesterday was a big day. Let me start by apologizing. I always try to schedule when I look at my calendar for the day between what I have to do. I do work from home, uh, gratefully. Um, the pandemic reset was wonderful for me. I'm just like y'all. I used to have the two hour, you know, commute. I've been corporate since college, a former executive, so much happier at home. Um, so between, you know, the boys schedules and what I have to do, I have one that's a swimmer and just all of that. Um, I try to plan, but, um, uh, I was supposed to go live last night and I had to postpone it haircuts and just everything. But anyway, here we are. But yes, yes, yes. You all, we have an announcement class. I'm so excited. I cannot thank you all enough. Let me move my cables out of the way. Again, this is not a proper cooking show. This is just me in my kitchen. Oh my goodness. You all have beat me to the punch, so I can't hold back any longer. Okay. I don't know what you all see. I don't think I'm monetized yet. I am using software that's not YouTube, so I don't see <laughs> what you all see. But just to update, in case anyone is new here, and then we'll take attendance, and then we will get started. <sighs> Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only four months old. I am your teacher. You all are my scholars. You named yourself that. Um, I am the daughter of a retired home economics teacher. So my mom, Nana, is our principal. <clears throat> Let's see. Are the boys the class clowns? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Let's see. Lead attorney is our professor. I am a proud student of the lead attorney's uh, live streaming course. A lot of you all have found me from lead attorney very generous with his knowledge. If you don't know, he is a now retired family law attorney who took up YouTube as a pandemic hobby and he's so good at it. He put together a course. So I'm a student of his course and uh, I call him professor. So he may pop in from time to time and check in on our class. Um, our live chat on YouTube is the study hall, so feel free to pass notes back and forth, help each other out. I am making my way through. Um, those of y'all, we're about to wrap up day one, um, but a lot of you all will now have wrenches from me, um, our day one scholars, and um, 
channel sponsors. Thank you so much for supporting. But in case anybody didn't know, in order to be eligible to monetize on YouTube, and I don't think I'm there yet, um, there's four boxes that you have to check. Two are easy, two are hard. And I've been posting this on my community tab, so if you go over to YouTube, um, you can slide over to the community section and you'll see my updates there because a lot of you all have asked. And I'm learning too. I'm not even done with the course. I'm only at 63%, so when I learn stuff, I'm sharing it with y'all. So the two easy things are you have to have two-factor authentication for security, yes, and you can't have any community strikes. I do my own content here, so um, sometimes I break out into song, but I don't, um, I don't take anybody else's intellectual property. And if I do recreate a recipe, I give the originator credit. Um, so those are the two easy things. And then the two hard things, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers. I have over 1,200 now because my scholars are amazing. And then the last hurdle that I had to cross over, you have to have 4,000 public watch hours. So you all have been watching and re-watching and watching playlists, and I'm just so incredibly grateful. So it got stuck towards the end, and I was like, why aren't the numbers moving? And then if you guys have you know, seen, I did post, I finally got the email yesterday from Google, you know, or YouTube. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you want to look what you don't want to look, and then you start getting frustrated. And that's why I said it's kind of like a weight loss plateau. If you've ever struggled and, you know, you're doing the right thing and the scale is not moving, you're just holding, holding it, and you just say, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to stop looking. And then the weight drops. Well, the email dropped yesterday. So it is a process. They say it can take up to 30 days. Um, some other YouTube content creators have said it would, t it took them like 24 hours. So I don't know what y'all see, but you all have been incredibly gracious to me. You have supported the channel. I have so many channel sponsors. I'm trying to update this. So I just listed them here in alphabetical order. Um, if you all have donated any amount before I monetize, you are a channel sponsor for life for me because you um, <laughs> you went out of your way to go look for a way to uh, support the channel. I do have, have a cash app. This will stay. Um, I do have a PayPal and I do have a Venmo. It's completely optional. Y'all just being here is such a blessing to me. Um, I always say, you know, for the first 40 years, I'm 46. For the first 40 years, I had the standard American diet, the SAD, the SAD. So for the next 40 years, God willing, I'm going to be here cooking it up for y'all. So we just go low and slow. Nothing goes viral here, but I just appreciate you all so much. Um, so if you want to uh, donate, I will add your name to our ticker. Um, but yeah, likes are free. Watching is free. Um, Rewatching is free. Sharing is free. And subscribing is free free. So I think those are all of the classroom announcements. I'm going to take attendance. We'll see who's here. Whether you like to eat like me, you're most welcome here. Whether you like to cook like me, you're most welcome here. If you just want to watch me do it, you are welcome here. Um, help each other out. Come in and out of the bio break. Of the bio break. Take a bio break if you need to. Come in and out of class. Moderators are going to help me keep our channel happy wholesome and family friendly. Um, if you guys need me to hold up anything, I know sometimes you take screenshots. I've changed the name. Hey, Miles. I've changed the name of my favorite things. Uh, we're going with the classroom theme, so it's going to be called Maggie's Cheat Sheet. So if you look in the description, um, I have started to put a lot of the things that I use in my Amazon link. So moderators, I'm going to ask if um, if I call something out since my hands are busy, if you all can help with that. All right. So let's take attendance. And I just saw this, y'all. More goodies have come in. So we're going to do a giveaway. Um, I do have Maggie merch, y'all. There's so much. I try to respond. <clears throat> excuse me. I try to respond to my scholars, but I do have merch. You guys asked for, you know, different things with my logo. So I have a Maggie merch store and I have a Zazzle store and I order samples because I just want to see it and put my hands on it. And if it's good, then, you know, I feel good telling you guys about it. So I got some stuff coming from Zazzle. 
So we're going to open together and then we'll make our chaffle. And um, let me get a beverage and we'll get started. Let's get it started. Grabbing my iced coffee, y'all already know. Okay. So let's take attendance. Let's see who's here. We got early morning class today. Oh, Maria. Welcome, Maria, Maria. Maria says it's been great. Nothing else is working. And this has been a godsend. Okay, y'all, I'm going from the bottom, starting from the bottom, and I'm going to the top. Okay, that's not a song, but I just made it up. So you all know, or if you don't know, I will burst into song. These things are just in my head. So just bear with me. Yes, thank you, Mona. Yes, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a proper chef. I don't know if I said, y'all, our classroom announcements. I am maintaining an 80 pound weight loss with at least 20 more to go. I'm, someone else is like, let's do 40 more. And I'm like, ah, okay. But y'all, this is just the way that I eat now. I used to be pre diabetic, I used to have elevated cholesterol, I used to have borderline blood pressure. And all of that is normal now without any medication because I've completely changed the way that I eat and the way that I snack. I am not the food police. Please do what works for you. I support all of it. All right. So Miles is here and present. Miles, uh, I saw a gift from you and I wanted to be clear. You were asking me to share a little bit about my journey. Is it about the YouTube journey? So I just want to make sure that I answer your questions. Um, maybe we won't do it today because I am going to cook. Um, this is really me cooking what I'm going to eat. So in case you're new here, I try to stream at least once a day, sometimes twice if I can. Um, because you guys hold me accountable so that I can age gracefully. Um, but if you all want to do a Q&A, like maybe we'll do that. I know Wilbert had mentioned like if I have like a little members um, membership as we join, maybe like a monthly Q&A where it's not live streamed, it's not recorded, um, like we did the happy hour. What did we call it? This, the 1000 celebration. And y'all can ask me questions and all that good stuff. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Mona. Okay. Wilbur, Wilbur, thank you so much. I'm so glad you all love it here. This is really a labor of love for me. It is my happy place. You know, it's just for so many reasons. Y'all know life is real, but um, I love it here too. Mona, the moderator, as always. And as always, you guys, as long as we're small enough and slow enough for me to respond here. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have a family business, or if your kids are behaving and you want to shout something out, please, um, you know, drop your information. And if you have a wrench, if you're a moderator, you should be able to post links. So go ahead and uh, let's support each other. You're here supporting me. So I want to definitely support you. We've got Aaron here. Aaron won a Maggie logo tea. I ordered that yesterday for her when lead attorney was on. Uh, she guessed the school. Um, I'm in the Atlanta area, so we're big bulldogs down here, but I did go to a girl's school, but everybody in my family went to University of Georgia. All right, let's see. Shout out to the channel sponsors. Yes, thank you all. <gasps> Maria! Maria, Maria, Maria. Okay, sorry. Those are the types of outbursts that I have. Y'all, let's give Maria a round of applause. Maria has lost nine pounds. That's huge. One pound away from double digits. I know you have to feel good. Maria has been killing the, um, is it the almond cream or the coconut cream? But yeah, you guys, I'm pretty much sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free, and I feel amazing. I <laughs> see Miles says, moaning. Are you a Southern girl? Y'all are going to hear it all here. Darling, sweetheart, sugar pie, all of that. African born, but Southern raised. Oh, you all just make my day. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. That's right, EB. Happy Friday. Yay. It is Friday. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glowing. Thank you. Maybe I'm greased up. Um, I do use what oil? Is it retinol? Something. Got my roller set done yesterday. But yes, thank you so much. Just have a little top on. It's a little big and some red capris. So just and my little red flats. <laughs> but thank you. I'm between sizes. So this is starting to like balloon a little bit. So this is going to go in the donate pile. But thank you. 
Yes, we made it, y'all. I cannot thank you enough. I am so grateful y'all have been here, especially y'all. Daryl, good morning. Thank you so much for coming to class. Marvelous morning, Wilbur. Thank you so, so much. Okay, um, y'all, I'm telling you, y'all have been here. I remember when I had 35 subscribers four months ago. Now, I will tell you this. Everybody has told me, lead attorney has told me, um, my best friend has told me, this has been very fast. Um, so I've been really trying to like catch up. I'm looking forward to, I'm not going to slow down. I'm not going to stop, but y'all know we've been kind of like blazing through with this growth. This was a huge milestone for me because the monetization, I don't have any money from YouTube. Um, I don't even know how it works. When I find out y'all will know, I think it's like in an account and you have to earn like a hundred dollars and they send it to you. I don't know y'all. I'm we're going to figure this out. But um, I was really racing to get to this point where I'm eligible to be monetized. So that just means that YouTube, if you don't have the premium and you have the YouTube that's free and they place commercials, those advertisements pay YouTube to place commercials on your videos. And then YouTube, will, it's like profit sharing. So YouTube will give you a few pennies from the advertisement. I'm sure there's a lot more that goes into it. Plus like super chats and um, what's it called? Memberships and all that. Y'all, I don't know. I'm just in here cooking. This is what I do every day. I've been cooking since 1842. So there were no child labor laws, but thank you, Nana, for my upbringing. Okay, yes. Oh, thank you for saying that. I am back on Instagram. So y'all, I told you about my strategy and I have released the rules now. <laughs> See, Miles is a Southern girl in Brooklyn. I love it. They say, you talk funny. No, they don't say it like that. You know what I meant. Um, but Maria says, I'm glad you're back on Instagram. Your sister is more there than on YouTube. And I've been telling her about, oh, you're on this journey together. Okay, you guys. So yes, you can find Maggie, the substitute teacher. I'm starting to get hungry. Um, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And now I'm back to live streaming on all four. When I was trying to reach my 4,000 watch hours, which just means if I made a one hour video and five people watched it, I got five watch hours, five credits, whatever it is. And um, when I was streaming, I had cat, when I was starting, I cast the net really wide and I was streaming on all platforms. But once I got to about what, like 3,000, 3,500 watch hours. I really wanted to be laser focused and try to get over the hump on YouTube. So I only streamed on YouTube to force people to come here. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I wanted to hurry up and get that done. But if you guys saw the news, we have now checked all four boxes. So yes, some people are still telling me only stream on YouTube, just do clips. Y'all, we're going to get there. Y'all know it's just me and my iPad, but whatever brings you here, I am happy. I don't have a Southern accent. Okay, so EB. Okay, so here's the thing. I am the daughter of African immigrants. I was born in Ghana. And so when I'm home with my father, that's what I hear. My parents have very strong African accents, but I grew up here in Athens, Georgia, Atlanta area with people that talk like this. So that's why I say African born, Southern raised, but you're right. I really don't have like a very Southern drawl. Every once in a while it'll come out. And when I get excited or um, how do you say, like when I'm around other Southern people, but a lot of the colloquialisms I've picked up. So I'm a little bit of everything. I am the true African American, right? Um, proud citizen, but come from a, a beautiful African country and background. Um, but I've also taken, you know, etiquette and elegance classes because I want to represent myself well. And a big part of that has been my speech because I learned that I shout when I speak. So I really try to stay refined. It starts that way. I don't know how it's going to end up. Okay, Mona's going to work. I understand. All right, y'all, let's get a beverage. We're going to do a giveaway. And then we're going to make this lemon chaffle because I'm hungry. Oh. But I'm so happy. Any questions y'all have? We're still small, so feel free to put them in the live chat. And uh, if you have a choice, I do appreciate if you watch on YouTube. But y'all, just do what works for you. It is not that serious. I'll come up with a strategy. All right, y'all know per usual, <laughs> this is a little more almond milk than coffee, but Panera subscription for me, unlimited beverages. I always do unsweet almond milk and coffee. And so I bring it home and I'm going to put some skinny syrups in it. 
But yeah, you all feel free to come and go. I am here for you, whether you watch live or on the replay, you got stuff to do, multitask, you are fine in my class. Do what works for you. I feel like something different, but this one is almost at the bottom, so I'm going to finish bottom of the bottle. Okay, so you all know that I uh, try to stay as sugar-free as possible, uh, even though I am celebrating now and I got some travel coming up. Gosh, there's a lot of class announcements, but let's get started because I'm getting hungry. So I am a big fan of these skinny syrups. Hopefully they're in my cheat sheet. Um, if one of the moderators can post the link to my cheat sheet, it should be in the description. I'm trying to put everything in one place on Amazon where you can find it. But skinny syrups. Ooh, Maria found gluten-free uh, sourdough. I love sourdough. Hey, learning to love myself. Thank you for coming to class. So these are my sugar-free, calorie-free, carb-free syrups. You can get them in any flavor. This big Mama Jamma came from TJ Maxx. You can see it's $7.99. The small ones are $3.99, and the minis are like, I don't know. Uh, and I say that a lot because I really don't know, y'all. I'm not a proper chef. Proper chef. I'm just a home cooker. Um, but yeah, so these... Uh, are my substitution for the sugary syrups that you find in the coffee houses. So whenever I'm out and about with the kids, iced tea, iced coffee, I always buy it unsweet. And then if I bring it home, I just put my own, okay, it's getting towards the bottom. So um, I always put my own and yes, I like it sweet, but it's sugar-free. Um, what was I gonna say? I buy iced tea, iced coffee, everything unsweet. And they even have, oh, you know what? I'll grab it because I need one. They even have the little portable ones. Um, let me show you. I'm going to slow down and take my time getting old, y'all. All right, so this right here, these are their flavor bursts. So this is really concentrated. They have vanilla, caramel, and mocha. And literally, you just pop the top and squeeze it in your beverage. Or I put it in pancake batter. I do whatever you like. Whatever you like. Um, does not require refrigeration, so I keep these in the car and in my purse. Maria, they're salted caramel. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Do I have that one? I just finished a caramel. Ooh, I just saw this. So Maria mentioned the salted uh, caramel. This one is salted caramel mocha. You can see this one is left over from the holidays. Um, but this is the regular size. So this would be like $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And then this is the jumbo size. I just buy the pumps to be extra. You can pour it. Why be regular when you can be extra? But yes, they have all the flavors. All right, class. So let's see how our iced coffee is, and we're going to see what came in the mail. I don't know what I ordered. Ooh, so good. I'm that person that shops a lot. Y'all, I got packages by the door. If we got time, we'll do some unboxing. I just try to hold out and save stuff for y'all. All right, so let's see what we got. This is the um, Maria Salted Mocha. Yeah, check and see. So Maria, you like the salted ones? Check on their website, especially after the holidays. Um, so you can see that one had reindeer on it. Um, they may have, it's summertime now, so they may not. But hey, maybe you can get a little happy mail from me. Um, drop me your... Um, mailing address if you want, and I'll surprise you. All right, so this is coming from the Zazzle store. Let's see what I got. Sometimes these packages are easy. Sometimes they're like, who's supposed to open this? Oh, this is a gift. I know what this is. <laughs> All I will say, let me see what I can, 
I'm going to arrange them in a way that um, doesn't give away the... Uh, okay, so they are Maggie aprons, and I got them customized. I'm going to put on the white one, but I got them customized. I have a collaboration coming up. It's going to be a surprise. So I'm going to hold them for the collaboration. But let me show you guys what they are. They're the khaki version of the Maggie apron. All right. But we'll still do a giveaway. So Maria, inbox me your address. You get the uh, salted whatever that is. Um, okay, so you all asked for adult aprons and you asked for kids aprons. So this is the logo, the Maggie logo that you guys have seen. This is like a nice linen, um, sturdy apron wash as well. It's got a neck loop. This is the long, I'm 5'7", so I'm a little bit taller than average height, so it goes down to my knees. Let's see. It does have two pockets. And of course it ties in the back, washes well. It comes in white, it comes in yellow, and it comes in um, khaki. The short or the standard probably is like here, but I like a little bit extra. It's got nice pockets here. So the khaki color, let me see what I can show you. This is the khaki color. <laughs> so it's a really good, hopefully y'all can tell, and I'll cover this up, but I did have it uh, customized. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the month. And I actually really like the khaki for just using in the kitchen because I think white is great for presenting. Y'all seem to like the white. <laughs> So we got it on my little logo. Um, we got the white, but um, I always get nervous about stains, but it's beautiful. So I put the link up there in case anybody wants. We have long, we have standard, and we have kid size. You can customize it with your name or whatever you want, whatever you like. And there's all kind of stuff in there. Thank you, Living Out Loud. Hey, good morning, Lisa. Welcome, welcome. Athens Girl made it. Oh yes, Athens Girl had an update. She said that an Athens girl is our vegan scholar. Um, so she eats plant-based and she was asking about the chaffles, which we're going to get started because I'm hungry, y'all. Um, she made them vegan. So my chaffles are egg and cheese. In case you're new, we're going to do a Belgian one today. Um, and she used the Just Egg, which is the plant-based pourable egg substitute and vegan cheese. And she said she made it as a waffle and it was great. Athens girl got a red and black um, apron. Yes, so there are some aprons. Yes, so they're all on the Zazzle store. There are some standard ones. There are some that you can customize. You know, we're bulldogs, but you know, we love everybody. So, okay, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna clean the counter, wash my hands, and we are going to make a lemon blueberry, lemon chaffle with blueberry syrup. Have I done this before? No, I'm making it up. Is it going to be good? I hope so. Am I going to eat it anyway? Absolutely. We're going to do some beef bacon because I got five pounds of it and we got to go through it. Um, also, I am traveling next week. Um, so I'm trying to clear down what I have as far as fresh produce. So we're just going to be throwing some stuff together until I'm gone. And then when I come back, Yes, yes. All of my channel sponsors should have a wrench. That means you're a moderator. You guys can help keep the channel family friendly. Um, whether you watch live or in the replay, if you see anything that should not be there, you can remove it. You can help. Um, mainly I did that um, while we're still small. Um, you guys can help me when I hold up items or you know people ask about links. I think you have to be a moderator to drop the link. Shout out to Snuggles. So, um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm trying to make my way through the list. So if I missed anybody, let me know. Maria doesn't have a wrench. Okay, yes, ma'am. I will get it done. Can I get, can I do it from here? No, I can't do it. Thank you, Maria. Oh, y'all, Maria is mad at me. <sighs> I'm already in trouble. Okay, Maria, I'm sorry. I promise I will do it. I don't want to mess up. I will do it, I promise. 
Okay. So Maria, inbox me your address. You get the salted caramel mocha and remind me in there to give you a wrench. I'll do it as soon as I'm done here. Breakfast sounds delish. Drop the link. It snuggles here. <laughs> Y'all, I mean, you all have been around YouTube to know a lot of times when people are doing YouTube, they're actually engaged 100% with their audience. I try, but I am cooking and it's just me. There are no assistants. Nothing is prepped beforehand. And so sometimes when I go back and I watch the replay, I've missed y'all's comments and I'm like, I didn't see it. So um, feel free to copy and repost it. Sometimes when I sit down and we do the chat and chow, then I'm able to give you my undivided attention, but please charge it to my head and not my heart. <sighs> oh, okay. Y'all are, y'all are hungry. All right. So let me wash my hands. Shout out to Snuggles. Y'all, we got Snuggles and I have two custom trolls that box it out with each other. We have Custard Explosion and Struggle Lemon Cake. Washing my hands. I'll drop the link, but I don't usually bring people up because it's just a lot for me to do, y'all. I mean, if Snuggles is here, can't say that I uh, didn't um, invite you up, Snuggles. Yesterday, you ate plant-based brownie batter. Hmm. It was a cheat day. You feel bad today? Y'all, I'm not even going to lie. I had fries yesterday. I had McDonald's. Just because I was ripping and running, we were at the pool. And honestly, I just kind of felt like celebrating. That email from um, YouTube was huge. Okay, so Maria, I'm setting this out for you. You are getting the salted caramel mocha skinny syrups. So I will drop this in the mail to you. I'm just adding some more vanilla to my uh, iced coffee. Okay, so let me get my Belgian waffle maker. Um, for this recipe, if you guys wanna cook along, uh, you need eggs or your egg substitute. I'm gonna get everything one at a time. Nothing is prepped here. Um, you need a good shredded, a good melting cheese. We're probably going to have to shred our own. Um, you need a waffle maker. I'm going to use the Belgian one. Often I use the little mini dashes, but I want to use the Belgian one, which is the big one that they have at hotels that has the four little sections. Excuse me. I'm going to use real lemon because I'm trying to go through my produce. If you have lemon juice, I'm sure it'll work fine. I'm going to zest. You want to have some powdered sweetener because I'm going to do a little dusting and I'm going to use blueberry syrup, but use whatever you have. That's right, but you're here. Look, we eat and then we recover. Y'all always hear me say, it's not what you eat from time to time. It's what you eat all of the time. Uh, thank you. Lisa loves her waffle maker. Let us know what kind you have, Lisa. Do you have the mini dash? Someone had bought the mini dash and I'll bring that out so y'all could see. And someone has, um, or the waffle, or the Belgian. All right, I'm getting hungry. All right, I got a waffle maker, the one that you turn. So this one is, I need to add this to the link. And I think what I'm going to do would it be helpful for y'all if I open up my Maggie? If someone could go in the description and look at the Maggie cheat sheet, I have renamed my list of favorites to the cheat sheet and see if it lets you add stuff on there. If not, I'll do it, but I, at least you should be able to view everything. But this one is a Farber wear. I think I got it from Walmart. Any waffle maker will, will work, but this is the big one.
So usually y'all know, and it's janky, this is just me. I use the mini dash, the bulb came out, but it still works. The mini dash, mini waffle maker. <sighs> Manicure tomorrow, y'all, I'm trying. It's a lot. <sighs> so Athens girl, you had the mini dash, okay. Okay, so Lisa has the big one like this one that you have to flip. Oh, thank you, Miles. Oh, Carmen, did you say before you leave, did you say I got your gift, excuse me, and you said you wanted me to talk about was my journey. Did you want me to talk about my YouTube journey or did you want me to talk about like my weight loss journey? I just wanted to be crystal clear on what you need. We'll do it another time, but I just want to be clear on the ask. All right, so let's get eggs. So for me, I'm using whole eggs. Okay, thank you, Miles. Inbox me. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so EB, you're going to get a mini dash tomorrow. Yes, they should be in my cheat sheet, but if they're not, $12.99, Target, Amazon. You can get them round. You can get them square. You can even get them heart-shaped. I use them often because the chaffle is a great uh, bread substitute. If you make it savory, y'all have seen me use it as sandwich bread. You have seen me use it as pizza crust. Uh, you can make it sweet. You've seen me make it as uh, chaffles, all kinds of stuff. So I have whole eggs. Oh, you were jamming out to YouTube? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love the old stuff. I don't know what these kids sing now. That's why I burst out to my own stuff. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm out of my um, shredded cheese in the bag. If you already have shredded cheese, you can skip this step. Just wait on me. You all know that I am dairy, sensitive to cow dairy. So this is what I'm using. This is my mozzarella from Leclerc. This is cheese made from goat's milk. I love this stuff. It's in a block, so I'm going to have to shred it myself, which is fine. I got the little salad shooter. Um, I've been using a lot of shredded cheese. You can get shredded goat's milk cheese at Whole Foods. It's fine. The shredded stuff in the bag does have extra ingredients to keep it from clumping together. So if you're trying to eat really clean and really natural, they say shred it yourself, which is what I'm going to do. Look, again, I am not the food police. Please do what works for you. Hi, Chef the Lawyer. Thank you so much for being here. I know, I listen to 80s and 90s too. Don't get me started. Y'all don't want to see my presets in my car, but I'm old. Y'all keep coming back though. Let me wash my hands. All right, so I'm going to shred the whole block of cheese. I'm not going to use the whole block, but um, this is a great like little meal prep thing. Um, you can put shredded cheese in omelets. Sometimes I'll snack on a quesadilla, pizzas. When you have it already shredded, you can just grab and go. Oh, Living Out Loud, you want to get an Instacart account? Yes, I should have a link with a coupon code. Y'all, this is all the stuff now that we stop running with our hair on fire. I'm going to try and get really diligent about. But yes, I love the grocery delivery services. I know some people feel differently, but working from home, it keeps me out of the stores because I struggle with impulse buying and especially buying snacks that I don't need. So when I use the delivery services, they come to me and I can control what comes in the house. Uh, whether you use Instacart or Shipped, Amazon Prime or Walmart Plus, they're all about $100 a year. So for me, for $2 a week, unlimited, it's worth it. <laughs> So Living Out Loud says, ooh, let me know what the ooh is about. Y'all, sometimes the comments come on a delay, so I don't know what you're saying, so help me out. Unless y'all are talking amongst yourselves, I don't need to know. All right, salad shooter. Let me get all this stuff and then I'll... Uh, Y'all, these pants are falling down. This is not a good look. It's time to get rid of them. Discount code. Oh, yes. Living Out Loud. Go to my YouTube page. 
maybe find a video from like a week or two ago where I had a really long description and there was a discount for Instacart, Shipped, Walmart, and all that. I think what I'm just going to make, y'all, I think I just need to make a Google Doc with all of this stuff in it. I'll see if I can work on that because there's so much stuff on this health and wellness journey. I have been scouring to find things that work for me that I actually like and I share them with you all because look, if I don't like it, you'll know. And if I do like it, you'll know. Ah, did I miss somebody eating with Jay? Do we have a new scholar? I missed it. But yeah. Oh, hey, eating with Jay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here distracted. So eating with Jay, welcome to class. Good morning, everyone. Kind of depressed this morning, but glad to be here. Oh, well, love and hugs and light and prayers your way. Let us know if there's anything we can do. We try to be the happy, uh, family-friendly part of YouTube. So hopefully we can brighten your day because these lemons are bright. So we're going to be using some of this today. All right, let me shred the cheese. All right, so y'all know how I am about these gadgets. All this stuff is completely optional, but I like it anyway. <laughs> Haircuts, I know, right? Maria is not. Maria and Wilbur are here to keep me humble. No matter how big Maggie gets, they're going to remind me of my epic fails. Wilbur with the custard and Maria. Y'all, I tried to make some eggs. I was doing an egg fast and you scramble eggs over water. So you're like poaching and scramble them. It was horrible. And you could tell. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So you guys, I actually eat what I make here because I usually only eat twice a day. So I'll try anything. If it's good, you'll know. If it's not, you'll know. But yeah, I'm still gonna eat it. I'm not gonna waste the food, that's just me. If it's bad, we'll try the next meal. Okay, completely optional. I bought this on Amazon, Salad Shooter. It's basically an electric um, cheese shredder for me. You can use it for nuts, chocolate, all kind of stuff. You just put the little blade in here and the little, I don't know what this is, y'all know. And then you put your cheese in here. And of course it has a little safety. And I'm gonna see if I have a little meal prep container. All right, just needed something that would close. One day I'll open the cabinets and everything will be perfect. Today is not that day. <sighs> okay, so again with the goat's cheese for me, this could be regular cheese for you, whatever you like. You just want for chaffles, you want a good melting cheese. I would not use like a cream cheese or a crumbly cheese. So no feta, no cream cheese, none of that kind of stuff. The softer your melting cheese, the chewier your chaffle will be. Meaning, like a mozzarella, I don't know, like a Colby Jack, those kind of will be like more of a tear, like more of a, a bready kind of consistency. The drier your cheese, the crispier your chaffle will be. So think Parmesan, sharp cheddar, any of those dry, salty, shredded melting cheeses, you'll get more of like a cracker um, toast kind of consistency. So do whatever you like. So this is my mozzarella made from goat's milk. So this is Leclerc. You can get this at Whole Foods. You can get this at um, Sprouts, which is a farmer's market close to me. All right. So as you can see, it's just a block of cheese. I'm going to cut it in half. just so it'll go in the salad shooter. This is something, you know, kids could help with with supervision. 
Uh, you could do this, you know, at the beginning of the week or whatever. That's what Nana used to do. She used to do kind of like batch cooking. She would get all our ingredients ready on Sunday so that during the week, because mom cooked every day, we had dinner at the table as a family. That's just how I grew up every day. Um, but that way you have your ingredients together. All right, so I have my cheese block. I just literally cut it in half. And all I'm gonna do is it's gonna go in here where the blade is, it's not plugged in yet. It's gonna go in here, put the safety, press it down, and then you turn on the switch and then it will um, shoot out the shreds. So let me unplug my phone for a second. Y'all, it's just me and my iPad and I'll show you what we're doing. Again, completely optional. You can shred this stuff by hand, but I'm just extra like that for no reason. All right. All right, I just want to protect everyone's precious ears. I know it's loud and I'm going to get there, y'all. We'll have like some better mics that get my sound and not all the background sounds. We're not there yet. The kids are on me. They're like, okay, congratulations on the 1,000 and the 4,000 hours, mom, but I need you to get better lighting and I need you to get a lapel mic. I'm like, can I have a day? But thank you, Moose. <laughs> Moose, I'm going to call you out here. I love all my scholars. He said Maggie and her fancy cheese grater. Why did Moose say that um, this is my midlife passion project? I know I'm old. Okay, anyway, yes, I do like this the salad shooter. Completely optional. You've seen me shred by hand. But yeah, so we just have now a container of melted cheese and nothing else. I think it does melt better and it tastes better. But y'all, look. Start where you are, use what you have. So this is a container that would be in the fridge for me. So you wanna make a quick snack, a quick quesadilla. Um, like yesterday I had a quesadilla, one cassava tortilla, a pinch of uh, shredded goat's cheese in the pan, and then a scoop of salsa. Those are the type of snacks that I eat now. I don't eat like chips and, ooh, I do have my uh, cauliflower. Um, I don't eat like chips and granola bars and that kind of stuff. I try to eat, you know, fruit and, just whole foods when I can. <laughs> Mustachio. <laughs> but I love all of my scholars. And I love that y'all make fun of me. I make fun of me. Y'all know. I just make this stuff up. I'm just taking this apart and putting it in the dishwasher. Oops. Can't waste that. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry. God, these are the things that are in my head that I try to say in my inside voice. I'm just shaking off the extra cheese because I'm greedy. These are the things that are in my head and I want to stay elegant for y'all, but they just burst out. Whatever. Y'all keep coming back. Oh, Athens girl. Yes. I heard the Siete chips. Yes. The grain free Siete chips. I think she made vegan nachos with those. If anybody else is struggling with drink, with drains, with grains or trying to cut carbs, there's lots of different brands, and I have some I can show later um, for different tortilla chips that are not made from like corn or flour. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. We need to get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Oh my God. I really try, y'all. Beat it back, Maggie. Focus, Maggie. 
Okay, sorry y'all, this is not elegant. Pants are falling down. <laughs> I'm between sizes. It's a good thing, it's a good problem to have, but they will go in the donate. Oh my God. I am blushing. Okay, cause that's my little like rare. <laughs> Let me turn down the air. <laughs> All right, y'all didn't ask for that. Let's make this chaffle. It is a good problem. It's a good problem to have. Um, I celebrate every five pounds and I do have like before and after pictures or before and current pictures uh, everywhere. I need to post another one, but um, yes, um, just crossed over 80 pounds and I feel amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I got my Walmart gravy boat. Why do I use this? I don't know. It's clear. It looks fancy. Kind of looks like Aladdin, right? I just thought of that. I like using this. You know, the glass dishes make it look like I know what I'm doing. So y'all can see through. Um, and I don't have to hold stuff up and it falls over, right? Struggle lemon cake. Um, we're also working on like overhead cameras. It's just me and my iPad, so I have to hold stuff up for you guys. Or if you want a field trip, I can bring you down to the counter, but then this is all you see, and that's a whole nother. But anyway, Walmart, Focus Maggie. Um, nice, cool handle and a sturdy base, so especially when you're using stuff in the microwave, butter or syrup or whatever, it stays cool. I'm radiant, thank you. I'm supposed to get a facial tomorrow. But yeah, just, uh, I'm all greased up. Oh, is that what radiant is? I thought that meant over 45. Hot flesh. <laughs> oh my God. No, but in all seriousness. Oh, thank you, Moose. Thank you, thank you. In all seriousness, y'all, I don't really do a lot. Like I don't wear makeup. This is just my skin. All I do is lipstick and um, some mascara. And of course, you know, got to fill in the brows, but you didn't ask about that. But um, just being consistent and, you know, like I said, you know, I know everybody's got all kind of struggles, but taking care of myself, you know, kind of just shows on the inside out. I don't know how, um, but I just use like regular products and stay moisturized. I do sunscreen, vitamin C, retinol, because I get like little dark spots. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then just a lot of conditioner for the hair. I don't put heat on it. Okay. Y'all, we're gonna make this batter. See, in case anybody is new here, nothing that I cook takes more than 30 minutes, but because as my dad would say, oh, Maggie, why? She's still talking. So because I'm still talking, it takes a long time. Oh. Good morning, struggle lemon cake. Welcome to class, one of our custom troll bots. Struggle lemon cake was born because I was trying to make a lemon cake and I was holding up the batter to show y'all and it spilled out. I had batter on the counter. It was a whole disaster and struggle lemon cake was born. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, makeup is terrible. I have asked my dad. My dad has never watched an episode. Y'all don't understand. I grew up very traditional immigrant family. My mom cooked every day. My mom, Nana, is a retired home economics teacher. She takes no shortcuts. She sifts her own grains. She roasts her own nuts. She cooks for hours. And so I was actually very intimidated as a kid because who's going to be able to do that? So this is really my happy place. And whenever you all compliment my cooking, I'm like, oh, that means the world to me. Because my mom has told my dad, oh, Pierre, you know Maggie? She has a cooking show on YouTube. Ah, Maggie. She's not cooking. She's just opening cans and boxes. So that is what my dad has said. He has never watched an episode. So <laughs> y'all mean the world to me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Let's be naturally beautiful. Hey, whatever that looks for you, but I'm always gonna have a red lip. I think it balances the glasses. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all, 
know, this is just going off the rails and it's early. Okay, chaffle batter. <sighs> One egg and about a half a cup of cheese. About, because I look for texture, mom taught me to cook with all of my senses. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. For the, <laughs> For the big waffle iron, so I'm using this one today, not the dash. Ow, just got my nail. I'm using the big Farberware. Okay, y'all know, y'all know the one that rotates from the from the hotel. I know, I know. Okay, you need eggs and cheese. Egg and cheese. Let's focus. I'm using whole eggs, and I'm gonna go with two because I'm making a big waffle. If you're using the mini dash, you can do one and about a half cup of cheese and that will make two waffles. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I really don't try to be funny y'all. In my mind when I come, like I'm always gonna be elegant for you all. I'm actually gonna teach you stuff. And then this happens. Okay, cracking an egg. Struggle lemon cake is here. All right, sorry y'all. We got one egg. But you know what's so funny, y'all? When I go back on my Instagram, hi, cyber security guy. Welcome to class. Um, I'm also on YouTube if you guys want to join the live chat. Um, it always ends up coming out nicely. Like my presentation is actually pretty good. The process is a train wreck, but we're going to get there, class. Okay, so we've got two whole eggs in my little Aladdin gravy boat. If you're using egg substitute in the carton, it will work fine. Um, Athens Girl told us if you're vegan and you want to use the just egg, it will work fine. However, I would not recommend egg whites. All right. <sighs> Raw eggs. Let me wash my hands. I'm like, I don't understand why the boys are embarrassed by me. I don't understand. I just... They won't let me be great. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Focus, Maggie. Cheese. Okay, so your chaffle is a cheese and egg waffle. That's it. Two ingredients, egg and cheese. We talked about what kind of cheese. You can doctor it up and put some extra stuff. Since I'm doing lemon, I'm going to do... Let's do some fresh lemon juice today. Why not? Let's be natural. So what we have right now is just two eggs and then the cheese that I just shredded. Goat's cheese for me can be regular cheese for me. <laughs> <laughs> Your manly present. <sighs> so I'm going to start with a healthy pinch. How much is that? I don't know. What I'm looking for is kind of like a chunky, because you like it thick and chunky. <laughs> what I'm looking for is a chunky kind of consistency with the um, um, batter. <sighs> Moose, Moose is on me. He, he may... <laughs> He had something with paper plates once and he sent me a picture. I said, the presentation looked kind of manly, but I love my scholars. Y'all won't let me forget anything. My porcelain plates. Okay. Oh my God. So what I do is I just put a couple healthy pinches of shredded cheese in here. Oh my God, y'all. And then I just stir with a chopstick. Will a spoon or fork work? Yes. Do okay, we had a little, oh, something fell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stir here. So y'all know eggs are kind of like really liquid like that. What I'm looking for is kind of like, like a chunky kind of stew consistency. I know that's weird, y'all. I don't know what to call it. Okay, so when I look at this, to me, it's still kind of jiggly. So I'm going to add more cheese. I hope we're talking about food. I don't know. That's all I talk about here. I don't know what y'all are talking about. All right. So cheese in the eggs. So again, if you want to make this like pizza crust, um, I would add like oregano or Italian seasoning in there. If you want to make like sandwich bread substitute, I would do like everything bagel seasoning. But since we're doing a lemon chaffle, 
we're gonna do some lemon juice. So we're getting there, I'm gonna do a little bit more cheese. See how it's getting a little bit more sturdy? Oh no. Okay, focus. This is a family friendly channel. I said I like it thick and chunky. So this is what I mean. You see how our egg and cheese now is kind of this thick and chunky? That's what I'm looking for. I said jiggly was... Okay, so now we have our batter. I have a fresh cut lemon from our last struggle lemon cake. So I'm gonna squeeze that in here because I want lemon flavor inside our um, batter, okay? So, and we'll do some lemon zest too. I'll give you guys a couple other substitutes. <sighs> Let me get a few things for you all. can't find it so I'll just cut a fresh one and the reason we're doing this you see me throwing stuff away I'm gonna be traveling next week so I'm trying to go through what I have but we'll just use a fresh one I know I have I know I have a half a lemon somewhere um oh options In honor of struggle lemon cake, I'm actually going to use fresh lemons because I have some and I want to go ahead and go through uh, my produce. I'm going to be traveling next week and just a couple tips. Like a week out, I kind of stop grocery shopping so I don't have extra produce in the house. And then, um, you know, that week, like a few days before, I just try to come up with recipes using ingredients that I have so they don't go bad. And then I do try and clean out the fridge like a day or so before I leave. So three little tips for me um, so you don't waste. Okay, so I'm using fresh lemon, but you can also use like this lemon juice from Concentrate, this little squeeze bottle. You can put that in the batter or we've talked about extracts. You can get something like this, the McCormick Pure Lemon Extracts, just a little bit into your batter so that you have that bright lemony flavor in the pancakes. <sighs> Yes, don't don't call them out. Y'all know they'll be here. All right, so we're gonna go with, uh, oh, this one is nice and soft. See, it's getting kind of uh, tender, tenderoni. So let's wash this. We're gonna zest it and we're gonna squeeze it. Oh, I forgot. Y'all, I wanted bacon with my um, waffle. It's not too late. I still have, I'm still working on the five pounder the beef bacon, so y'all choose plain, candied, or Christmas. Oh God. I'm done. I'm just gonna start zesting. And our other friendly, Troba. <laughs> Custard Explosion was born because I tried to make um, 
creme brulee. I actually nailed it like the third time, but the first time I had an issue getting it out of the water bath. I got it on me. I got it in my hair. I got it on the oven. I got it on the refrigerator. There was custard everywhere and custard explosion was born. Oh my God. Okay. So Christmas bacon, you got it. That is brown sugar and cinnamon. And actually Wilbur came up with that one. So let's go ahead and start on the Christmas bacon because it needs to cool. I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is just another little way you can be fancy. So we're coming back to our chaffles. Chaffles won't take long once we make the batter and we put it in the waffle maker. Literally our waffle is done. But if we're gonna do this kind of bacon, I need to go ahead and get started on it. <clears throat> I have four trolls who uh, I have snuggles. I have custard explosion. I have struggle lemon cake. Who is my, f oh, here they go. Okay. I'm doing my bacon in the air fryer. I have no idea what's happening in the chat. If you're here for candy bacon for Christmas bacon, focus on Maggie. All right, drip tray. I'm going to line with foil. Regular for us. Oh, Cousin Tony. Is Cousin Tony here? I'm going to regret that I just said that. In case anybody wants to know, Cousin Tony was my second attempt at the creme brulee. And so Custard Explosion was advocating for Cousin Tony to not be put into the oven. It was a whole thing. Oh, that's right, I ate him. Okay, my air fryer, love it. Should be in the cheat sheet. It's the kind that is like an oven, so the door opens, you can see through, and it has different levels for shelves. So when I'm making bacon, I put it, you know, kind of middle, middle up, but I always put an extra tray over top because an air fryer is basically an oven with a fan. It's a convection oven. And so what will happen is that anything that's lightweight, like bacon or tortillas, they'll fly around and flap around in there. You're not going to derail me. You know why? because I am hungry and this is actually my food and we are going to make this breakfast dog on it. God. God. All right. So in case anybody didn't know, you could do this with be uh, pork bacon if you have if you eat it, have some for me, but Lisa actually turned us on to beef bacon. Sorry. I've got a whole stack of it in my hand. So I'm going to separate these into little sheets on the tray. It actually gives you a really good bacon experience. To me, it tastes like a bacon steak. And Marcus, the swimmer, Swim Shady, who may wake up during this, I don't know, school is out. Um, he made some beef bacon yesterday and I asked him, it's my uh, almost 15 year old, you know, if I didn't tell you it was beef bacon, would you know? And he said, no, it just tastes like bacon. So it's really, Good. So Caudel, I see your question. Does the oven come with two trays? It actually comes with three, sweetheart. So it comes with two of these flat ones. And then it comes with this one. You see, it's got like a little bit of a lip in it. So this is good for stuff that rolls around tater tots or anything like that. It also comes with like a rotisserie spit. It comes with a basket, like a fry basket. It's actually really good. I think I got it at Walmart. It may be in like the 149 range, but I think I saw it like Memorial Day come down to 99 or 129. Any air fryer will work. So I've got four strips of beef bacon. All right, so let me wash my hands. For the Christmas bacon, all you need is brown sugar and cinnamon. Wilbert, let me know, should we do cinnamon and nutmeg or just cinnamon? I know, Wilbert, you see, y'all know. Let me wash my hands. If 
For anyone new here, I'm a boy mom, amicably divorced from their father, but I'm a boy mom of two teenagers, and they're never here when I'm cooking, but mysteriously when the plates are ready, they appear. I have taught both boys how to cook though, so when I go on strike, they can fend for themselves. All right. School is out for the summer. Yep, yep. You already know, Moose. How many times have y'all seen me have a plate and then they start circling around like greedy gong gongs? All right, Wilbert. Okay. Okay, cinnamon nutmeg. So let's make some Christmas bacon. Okay, so if you can have brown sugar, have some for me, but you'll see this in the cheat sheet. This is my Swerve sugar replacement. This is the brown sugar version. Zero calories gives me the brown sugar, like caramelly experience. <sighs> Nobody wants that vegan food. I was gonna say, Athens girl, you've got boys too. Are they vegan? Because mine most definitely are not. Um, okay, just grabbing a spoon. So this will work well with brown sugar, but because I try to say sugar-free, I'm using this Swerve. Um, this is the brown. They have the regular, the granular, the brown sugar version, and then the confectioners that we will dust on our waffle in a bit. Two with nutmeg, two without. Christmas bacon, you got it. All right. So y'all can see our brown sugar, wet sand kind of. Um... So all you do, I could just put my hand in there, but I'm trying to be, so you all can see this is our brown sugar substitute. So I just put it in my hand and then I just crumble it on to the bacon. So a teaspoon will do two. I'm gonna do another one. So I've got two with brown sugar, two without. Is that what you're having, Moose? Oh, I know, boys like meat and potatoes. I know these kids, are, but you know what's so funny? When I started my health and wellness journey, working with my metabolic specialist, and most of y'all know, but I do repeat myself because I know we always have new scholars. You know, I was actually very mad when I got my list of foods that I can't have or that my body is sensitive to. Because what I learned is that, you know, guys, there's some things that we eat that your body tolerates really well and you're just humming along. Next, what I'm gonna do, you see I've got the nice crumbly bacon on there. Next, what I'm gonna do, hopefully y'all can see um, Instagram. Um, I've got the nice crumbly bacon on there. I'm just gonna take the back of the spoon and smooth it on so we get that nice like sheet of uh, the candy bits. I'm sure there's a name for it, you know what I mean. But when I got my list of foods that I'm sensitive to, oh, that's right, I was saying, there's some foods that you eat that your body tolerates really well. You're humming along like a race car. And then there's some things that you eat that your body tolerate, does not tolerate well, but you don't know. Because unlike allergies, you don't have a violent reaction. Sometimes food sensitivities can be delayed. I didn't know this. Like when I have a lot of dairy, I want to keep it clean here, but I have like a lot more mucus and that's not me, you know, at all, but I don't get it until the next day. So you may have, you know, skin issues. You may have, you know, problems with, I don't know, your hair, migraines, bloating. You may need to take a nap. Like all these things that I thought, oh, I'm just getting older. And I was just limping around. And um, when I got my list, it was like chicken, coffee, dairy, citrus, gluten. I was like, what the heck am I supposed to eat? And that's where the substitutions came from. All right, so y'all can see I just kind of smoothed it on there. You can leave it crumbling fine, but I don't want anything to blow away because I'm greedy, so I want all my brown sugar. Um, all right, so we're going to do all with cinnamon, and then we're going to do two with nutmeg. So what was I saying? Um, but yeah, so my point was that when I first started... I went on an elimination diet. I literally eliminated everything that was on my list, and that's how the substitute started. Chicken, turkey instead of chicken, tea instead of coffee, almond milk instead of cow's milk. And so um, when I was eating that way, the boys were like, Ugh. 
But I am the type of person that I'm like, I'm going to find a way to use the ingredients that I have to have and make food that I want to have. So now when they see my plates, they're like, ooh, mom, what is that? I'm like, you can go get your, you know, own stuff. But now they want my food. Okay, wash my hands again. And actually, it's really good for the family. I mean, look, whether you have like health issues and I'm not a doctor or weight issues or you just want to feel better, um, please do what works for you. But I do believe that a lot of us probably consume more, not probably, we just consume like more sugar than we need to because there's a lot of added sugar and stuff that's not even supposed to be sweet, like pasta sauce. Okay, so I'm still trying to work through the last little bits of this Walmart cinnamon. Moose, you eat that every day? Woo. Okay, good on you. And my dollar store nutmeg. Aaron Lard, that's what, um, what's his name? Kevin Anderson, when I had the real um, health guy here. A lot of times, what did he say? You don't know how bad you feel until you start feeling better. And I was just always taking a pain pill. I had a bad knee that I was always limping around. Y'all see how I move around in here? Um, and I just thought, you know, oh, this is just aging. Within 48 hours of changing and making my food substitutions, I felt amazing. Still had the weight on, but I was pain free. Excuse me. So I always say I eat to stay pain free and the weight is kind of coming off as a byproduct. Plus, I just like to eat. I don't know about y'all. Some people are like, yeah, I don't care as long as I'm not really hungry. I don't care what I eat. That is not me. You will not hear me say that. Oh, we keep you on track here. Wonderful. All right. So let's do our cinnamon on all four strips of bacon. I think I'm almost done. Y'all know when you buy stuff at like Sam's Club, you're going to be using it for a while. I think I finally entered it. <sighs> Sound the alarm. Our principal is here. Hey, mom. <laughs> Nana is up. What's for breakfast? You were dreaming about waffles, mom? I'm making eventually a lemon chaffle with blueberry syrup. Y'all stick with me. It's going to get there. It's going to be good. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and use the rest of this cinnamon. I know Kirk Anderson said there's a special cinnamon that's supposed to be really healthy, Saigon cinnamon, something about heart benefits, I don't know. So just dusting, getting all of this. Okay, so we have cinnamon and brown sugar on all four beef bacon strips. So now, so this is cinnamon and brown sugar. Yes, we're having fancy Belgian waffles today. Okay. So this is nutmeg, and we're going to do it on the two on the straight edge. So help me remember that. It's kind of a curved thing. So the straight edge, in case it all looks the same when it comes out. Okay. So you can see a little bit darker. So we have two with cinnamon sugar. Two with cinnamon sugar and nutmeg. Sounds yummy? All right, so let's put this Christmas bacon in the air fryer and finally start our waffles. I don't know if it's gonna crisp all the way, but I'll tell you what I mean in a second. I should have started this earlier, but I got distracted. All right, so going into the air fryer. And I'm always wiping. Okay, so here's your tip when it comes to the candy bacon or the Christmas bacon. Okay, man, I'm taking you to Belgium. Oh my God. Between my mom 
and our, I don't want to call them trolls. What do we call? We need a name for our special students. Maybe that's all our special scholars. Chris's bacon, yes. Chris's bacon. Oh, it's already out of control. Wilbur, if y'all go back to the beginning, don't you see how I start class always with such composure and I really do try for y'all and then this happens. Okay, if you're going to make candy bacon, so you have three options here. You can just make regular bacon in the air fryer. I like that it drips down. You can eat it hot as soon as it comes out. You know, just put it on a paper towel to absorb a little bit um, and it'll crisp up pretty quickly. However, if you're doing candy bacon, which is bacon with the brown sugar or brown sugar substitute for me, just for me, you didn't ask for that. Um, you want to cook it and then you want to take it out and let it cool because when this comes out with that sugar on it, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon nutmeg sugar, it's going to have like a sticky glaze and it'll be chewy. You really want to let it cool so that it can snap like candy. So if you're going to do candy bacon or Christmas bacon, you want to do that first so that it has time to cook and cool. Oh yeah, Christmas bacon. This is going in the cookbook. Wilbert, you gotta, um, you gonna have a page. Lead has uh, lead attorney fried apples. My creme brulee, custard explosion. May get a nod for the creme brulee. Struggle lemon cake. May get a nod for struggle lemon cake. Are the trolls in detention? Yes, crypto. Of oh, class clowns? We have our class clowns? I thought the boys were the class clowns. Okay, focus. Going back to our lemon. Yes, crypto, I'm making breakfast today. So we still have our batter here. This is just our egg and cheese. So all protein for our batter, no flour. I am going to zest a lemon and then I'm going to squeeze a lemon. And then maybe I'll make some tea and I'm going to steep a lemon. You can use this three ways so we don't waste. Okay. I'm like, what is the dust on here? <laughs> it's a cinnamon. Crispy edges. Somebody somebody gifted me and put crispy edges in the um in the cash app. What did I make? Was it the waff the what did I make that had crispy edges? Because I'm like, whatever it was, it was good because somebody gifted me. Was it pancakes? Ah, Maria, thank you. Oh, yes, living out loud. You did. Okay, sweetheart, but what did I make that was crispy edges? Okay, sorry. All right. Wilbert, what did I not notice? I'm about to zest, so my head's going down. I'm going to sit here and wait because y'all know I get distracted. Banana pancakes with the crispy edges. Yes, I remember. We've eaten all of our bananas. Ah, uh, Maria, scholars have asked for a blooper reel. I said once I got this, mon one thing at a time, we we're going to get monetized. I'm working with a freelance artist. I got to get them timestamps. Y'all can help with that. If there are bloopers that you would like to see in the blooper reel, inbox me the video and the timestamp. Y'all can help me with that, scholars. And we're going to put together a sizzle reel with my custard explosion, with my poached eggs, with all of my, with Nana critiquing me and saying that my son said, Nana, when I cooked for him for the first time. So all of that is going to go on the blooper reel. Please don't tell me. I'm trying to zest a lemon for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. The class clowns are to you. To zest a lemon, you want the oil from the rind. Doesn't this look so pretty? I love the bright colors. You want to zest the oil. Go 
Good morning, Jasmine. I don't know what's happening. I am trying to make waffles in my class. My students are taking over. You just need a fine grater, okay? So a fine grater, you get your lemon, and what I do is, I got some cinnamon on it. I'm gonna go ahead and zest the whole thing. It's a beautiful presentation. I do scrape, 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 turn, scrape, 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 turn. I'll bring you guys down because I need a moment. I'm gonna bring y'all down for a field trip. It's just a lot right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I zest close up. So buckle up, get on the bus. It's just me. Let me move my, oh, let me move my foil and my eggs. One second. All right, so I want to show you guys the difference here, and I'll move. Let me see so you can see the counter. Okay. All right. So this is a regular like cheese grater, you know, the big one that we would use with cheese. So I'm just showing you guys the difference. So you want to get the smallest grater that you can. I don't have a microplane, but this is what I'm using for the lemon rind. So let me see if I can. I need a moment. I need a moment from the chat. Okay, Athens girl. Thank you for being here, sweetheart. All right. Oh man, this is too soft. Yeah, that's not coming off well at all. Let me get a fresh one. It was really, you know, I probably could use that. Hold up. No, it's just peeling too easy. Are lemons supposed to peel like that? I'm peeling it by hand, but I'm still, oh, golly, look at all this. It's just coming off like a, um, what is it? Like a tanja, tangelo or something. Is that a bad sign? I'm still going to squeeze it, but I'm going to show you all how to zest. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the dry parts. At this point, it's all falling apart anyway. So I'm just zesting down to like the white part. So you get those little lemon shavings. Cause I'm not gonna waste. So I would just zest, 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 turn, and then I stop at the white part. This is so janky. But you just need a little bit for a little dusting. I think that'll be good for now. So I wanted to do that before I squeezed the lemon. So you guys can see these little shavings, especially when you have like um, the finished product. This is nice. You can also put this inside um, a little bit of the batter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice in here so y'all can see. Oh, bad sign. So you wouldn't use this lemon? It's so no. Okay, lemon should not peel like that. Okay, okay, so let's just get another one. Thank you all. I got a whole bowl of them. So we'll just get one that's. All right, this one seems pretty good and it's not peeling. All right, so we'll skip that. Let me rinse this off and we'll do it again. I feel like I need to check on Christmas bacon, but let's see if we can zest and juice and then we'll go right back. All right, clean plate, clean grater. Let me wash the lemon. Okay, so nobody, everybody says don't use it. So I'm gonna toss it. I got you. All right, so let's move. So we got the, the bad lemon. We'll toss all of that. Let me make sure y'all can see. So we're gonna start with a fresh lemon that's nice and firm. It's not peeling. So scrape, 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 scrape. Stop at the white part. Scrape and turn. 
scrape and turn. So the reason I'm zesting before is because once I cut the lemon and juice the lemon, it's not gonna have this nice round shape. This makes the kitchen smell amazing. Um, and you can use it as a nice little garnish on top. You can put it inside the batter. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that. No, we'll do lemon juice inside and the garnish on top. So I just go around until I try to get, you know, all of the lemony spots and stop because the white is the bitter part. All right, it's not gonna be perfect, but <clears throat> I'm good with that. All right, so now, and it kind of collects on the back for me, so just gonna use the back of a spoon, try to get all that off. When we made our struggle lemon cake, this went inside the cake, sorry, that was loud, and inside the frosting. So I've got our lemon zest here, it smells amazing. Yes, Crypto, you can do the same for lime. And I had a lime in there. You can do lime zest. Like maybe one day I'll make a key lime pie for you guys. I know you guys have asked for cheesecake, but this is just the fragrant uh, lemon rind. And this is edible. Um, that's why I just washed my lemon first. So this will go on top of our waffle. So with our powdered sweetener and a little dusting, it'll look good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lemon in half just here on a paper towel and then I'm gonna get my lemon juicer now we've got it cut in half oh yes you can boil it some people make uh, lemonade with the lemon peel inside and it kind of candies oh it's so good oh our bacon oh I'm gonna get it out and show y'all one second Okay, see, I got distracted. Now you can see <laughs> the two that have the nutmeg are significantly darker, and then we've got two here, but they will get a little bit darker. Honestly, I should have checked them earlier. That's on me, but I'm gonna set them over here to cool. Let me just lift them up off of here. All right, so y'all can see, I just turned them over. The reason why I pulled them up off of the, um, what is this called, the tray? Um, oh God, y'all. <sighs> y'all, I need to make some more. Um, I'm still gonna eat it, but you can see how it's still kind of, um, how do you say, tender. As it cools, it's going to stiffen up. So I wanted to go ahead and pull it up off of the rack because what'll happen is that it'll cool and it'll stick to the rack. Okay. You know what? pants are falling down. Y'all are going to make me, I'm going to do another one. I'm, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm going to do another one. Doggone it. Oh crap. I used up all the cinnamon. Oh. Okay. I'm so dis. Oh God. You know what? We're still, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Y'all are here for waffles. Okay. Good Lord. 
lemon peeler, I mean lemon juicer. They have these for limes too. So I'm literally just going to take the half lemon that I cut, put it the open side down, and I'm going to squeeze this. So this is our batter. This is our chaffle batter with our egg and cheese, okay? We're gonna, all right, I'm just gonna squeeze the juice in here. That's kind of a lot. <laughs> that might be too much, but you know what? So that's why I zested it beforehand. Now I wouldn't waste this. I'll still make a tea and put this in there and let it soak uh, in my tea. Yeah, I may put whew, just a little bit more cheese in here because it's a little bit. Oh, yes, my pants are coming off. All right, I'm gonna turn on my waffle maker. Oh, sorry, I should have warned y'all we're moving again. Is lead attorney here? Oh my God. Hello. Our professor is here. Our professor is here. Our principal is here. All right. We're going to make some better bacon. I'm just going to make regular bacon because it cooks fast because I can't present that to our principal and our professor. So we are going to make our lemon waffle. I did say this is a struggle cooking class. Okay, for anybody who just joined, we're gonna make some crispy bacon. I didn't say Christmas bacon, crispy bacon. This is my beef bacon. This one came from Costco. It does give you the bacon experience. This will cook and I'm gonna set the timer. Um, if you can have pork, that's fine. I'm gonna do my bacon in the air fryer. My son is still sleeping, so he'll probably eat that anyway. But we're just gonna put four strips of bacon you could do this with turkey bacon too, but beef bacon does give me the bacon experience. As I said in my disclaimer, I am not a proper chef. I am just a home cook. I'm a boy mom. I'm just trying. I do cook every day and somehow it all comes together. Okay, so no brown sugar here, just regular bacon. I'm gonna do in the air fryer. I'm not even gonna crack any pepper on it cause it's just a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set it for five minutes so that it um, doesn't overcook. All right, so I'm going to wash my hands. I'm gonna turn on my Belgian waffle maker. Oh, Christmas bacon, let's check and see how you're doing. Oh my God. All right, I know, I know, but y'all can see. All right, so see what's starting to happen with the bacon. So do you notice how it's keeping its shape? It's still soggy, um, sagging a little bit. But you see what happens with the, so this is brown sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg. So you see how it starts to like stiffen up and we want the candy to kind of give it that nice glaze. I know it's overdone. This is my struggle. My mom was always really good at cooking multiple things at once. I'm really good at like focusing on one thing and then getting that done and then moving on to the next thing and then getting that done. I struggle with doing multiple things at once, but I'm gonna get there. Chris, y'all would still eat the Christmas bacon? Oh, you would put the candy bacon on a burger. That's a good idea. All right, we're gonna make this waffle. We've got our lemons, we've got our lemon zest, we've got our lemon juice. We're gonna throw away the struggle lemon. All right, and it's lemon zest. So let me just get that cleaned up and we're gonna see how our lemon waffle, I put a lot of lemon juice in there, but I like citrus. I don't know about y'all. Oh 
crypto, thank you. Ask lead attorney, y'all know I'm a proud student of his, but it's hard to stream, period. And then I'm trying to stream and cook. <laughs> I'm like, why did I think I could do this? But y'all are here and we're growing. And again, thank you so much, lead attorney, for your course. I have learned so much, even though I'm only 63% done, I'm going to get through it. But it's so much, you all. So if you want to learn to struggle stream, <laughs> Please check out Lead Attorney. His course is amazing. I think I have the link in my description or my about me. So please check it out. I want to make my teachers proud. And y'all, I'm over here just falling apart. Happy Friday, class. Oh, uh, because I come in, I do it. <laughs> Lead says he can barely... Um, talk and stream at the same time. You can't imagine cooking on top of that. Yeah, I do it. That's one thing I am consistent because, you know, one of the things you all will learn in Lead Attorney's course or anybody who talks about, you know, being a content creator, it's difficult because a lot of times people have to come up with content. So, you know, Maggie, the substitute teacher really came from, I've always been cooking before child labor laws in 1842, but, um, I'm very passionate about, you know, being able to cook the stuff that I want to eat from what I have to eat. Um, and I cook every day. This would be me, even if I weren't streaming for you all. Um, I started because I always used to post the finished product on my social media. I would make something and I would post it. I would make something and I would post it. And people always said, Maggie, you're really good at that. You need a cookbook because you do need a cookbook. When you make a cookbook, I want an autographed copy. And I was like, oh, yeah, one day. Y'all know how we kick the can down the line. And my best friend turned me on to lead attorney. I'm like, what do I know about law? But uh, when I tuned into lead attorney, I heard him say, if you are over 35, you need to start a YouTube channel because you know stuff that people want to know. And I'm like, well, people are always asking me about food. So now I just turn on the camera and show y'all what I do. Okay. Let's see if we can make this waffle, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my waffle maker. I'm using the Farberware. I'll get you a link in the description. Custard explosion is back. Lead, what I tell you about my, um, my, my class clowns, my custom trolls, anytime I mess up, like now, Christmas bacon. Okay, we got one more minute on the bacon. All right, it's looking good, nice and reddish brown. I'll just sprinkle some brown sugar on it and call it a day. Let's go ahead and turn on our, um, what is this called? A waffle iron. Yes, lead attorney is here, so our professor is here. Nana is watching, so our principal is here. Okay, so quick tip for you guys. What I do, okay. what I do with the waffle maker because you know it will um kind of ease out ooze out the sides i put a towel when i put it on the counter i'm going to drape a towel through here so that when it comes out of the sides if it if you over pour then it gets on the towel or the um paper towel so that you can just wash this and you have less cleaning up to do sometimes you're still going to get some but uh, i'll show you guys i'll tell you what i'm going to do and then i'm going to do it Okay, so y'all know how a waffle uh, iron is. What I'm going to do when I put my batter in here, I'm going to use the spatula. First, I'm going to let it heat up. Um, and then when the light turns green, I'm going to just use a spatula to kind of smooth my batter into the... Um, I want it to go down in the grooves because that's y'all like the crispy edges. That's what's going to give us the crispiness, okay? So I wouldn't just like plop it and close it. I'm actually going to try and smooth it out so that I can get a uniform Belgian waffle. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying. I'm so embarrassed. Every time he comes here, I'm like in a, in a, um, all flustered. Okay, focus, Maggie. Bacon. Perfect timing. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to show y'all the regular bacon. We're just going to sprinkle some brown sugar on it hot.
So our Belgian waffle maker is heating up. Like I said, this is not a proper cooking show where everything is perfect. So while it's hot, this will be a good test, y'all. I'm going to put the brown sugar on it while it's hot. I can't, I couldn't, y'all, I couldn't, I couldn't present this. Lead attorney's here, Nana's here. I love my scholars, but let's do it while it's hot. Okay, so if you have brown sugar, use brown sugar. I am going to use our brown swerve. Looks great. Whew. Okay, so while it's hot, we're just going to sprinkle some brown sugar on it and see what happens. I don't know. Okay, crypto I see, but I'm trying to understand. All right. So we're just going to, so y'all can see I have the brown sugar on the bacon. And this is beef bacon. Lead attorney's going to teach me how to cook. Oh, oh, I'm teaching lead attorney how to cook. Okay. Y'all, I need some help. Um, all right, so we're going to go and let this cool so it looks a lot better, okay? <sighs> all right, let's check on Christmas bacon. <laughs> all right, texture is good, but I got sidetracked, so sorry. Okay, I'm waiting for the green light. Green light. In there a song with the green light? I don't remember. Green light? I don't know. Y'all know I'm that person that like, even if I don't like the song, it gets stuck in my head. I don't know. There's a green light. Something, something with the green light. Oh. You, want, you see me put the batter in the waffle maker. Oh, come back down for a field trip. Okay. All right. So we got our batter. I put the lemon juice in here. It's a little jiggly. So I'm going to put a little bit more cheese. Okay. We're going to take a field trip class. All right. Let me just bring y'all down. Y'all know if you ever, I mean, I've been corporate since college, but you know how like when you're typing in front of people, it's like, that's when you misspell everything. That's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, I'm bringing y'all down. Field trip. Oh yeah, there is a green light song. See, see. Okay, all right, let's see what we can do. Y'all, it's just me and my iPad. Okay, so we've got our shredded goat's cheese. I'm just gonna put a little bit more into our batter because the lemon juice did make it a little watery and y'all know the texture that we want. Oh God, it's spilling, oh God. Me and my Aladdin measuring cup. All right, y'all, we're just gonna go for it. Whew, let's see. Oh. Now I am not going to spray, let me drink this like I told y'all. I am not going to spray the, um, what is this, waffle maker. You could, but, hold on, just getting a measuring cup. Because I'm not using flour, <laughs> you want sausage, sausage gravy. Oh my God. Focus, Maggie. Okay. Oh, Beyonce, green light. Yeah, something, something with the green light. Y'all know. Okay, thank you. See? Okay. Oh my God. So I just stir it up before I put it into the waffle maker just to try and get it as homogenous as possible. And again, this is just eggs and um, goat's cheese. Could be cow dairy for you. I have a feeling it's gonna overflow. So you see how it's starting to, so let me use my little spatula and I really want to try and like press it down into the grooves. If you just closed it, you would have that little ball. So I'm just using just a spatula to, 
try and make it uniform as possible. And this will work with the mini too. Maybe I'll do a little mini one. It's not perfect, but now we close it and turn it. All right, so this is gonna cook. I'm bringing y'all back up. So that's what I meant. Just try and smooth it out a little bit. All right, so it's doing its thing. Let's check on our bacon. I think we're almost ready to plate, y'all. This is a lot. Did you say non-porcelain skin? Oh, oh. Okay, Christmas bacon is over here all alone. Let me taste. Mmm, ooh, mmm. See what I mean, Lee? You see how they come for me? I love my class clowns. Crypto, thank you for the feedback. Y'all, my best friend is working on like a picture in picture or some kind of switch where y'all can see me and you can see overhead. Right now, we just got to get on the struggle bus and come down to the counter. Oh my God, now it's burnt Christmas bacon. You still taste good. So this is the one that we have burnt Christmas bacon. You will be in the blooper reel. So our other bacon is cooling nicely. Mmm. Still a little bit dangly. I don't know what the word is. I go for texture. How long does it take? I don't know. But you just want it to hold its structure. So we're going to let that cool. Y'all, I can't keep up. Oh, oh, you like me? <laughs> Green light. It's like, I know, it's like I say things and then I'm like, there's a song for that. And I just, y'all, okay. Our waffles cooking. We got our lemon zest, blueberry syrup. So again, we know lead attorney likes full flavor, so please use whatever syrup you like. But for me, I'm using the Walden Farms calorie-free, fat-free, gluten-free. So since this came out of the fridge, I'm going to put it in my other Aladdin um, gravy boat to warm it up for a few seconds so that it can drizzle nicely because it'll just kind of clump out and I want a good presentation after all of this. Oh, you like the dance? <laughs> So I got this tip from one of our scholars. I'm in, in the Atlanta area. I'm in the South, y'all. We have a restaurant called Cracker Barrel. If you ever get pancakes from them, they give you these little glass bottles and it's warm syrup. I'm trying to open this. Um, it's warm syrup and it's a great experience on your pancakes. Okay. So I got this tip from one of the scholars. So you see how the, see how it just comes out like that? That's not what I want on my um, pancake. So we're gonna microwave that. But you can help yourself because it's calorie free, sugar free, gluten free, all of that. Okay, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I know. Oh, Lee likes blueberry muffins. I've made, um, well, he wouldn't like my blueberry muffins because they're substitute muffins. But if I ever cook for Lee the attorney, I promise you I will cook. Because I do, you guys. I mean, in all seriousness, all of uh, I keep forgetting to turn my phone. I know that's loud. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, all of my recipes come from food that I would cook for myself or cook for the family. Um... The whole Maggie cakes, I made breakfast for the breakfast for the boys for dinner. And I made like uh, real Bisquick pancakes, real log cabin syrup, uh, real bacon. 
And, you know, I still make all that stuff. I still serve all that stuff. And I was cleaning up and I was like, I can't have any of this. So I dream up ways to have food that I want to have with my ingredients. But all of the stuff that I make, you can make the full flavor version. Okay. I want to check on this. Let me get a plate. I think it looks okay, but y'all might clown me. Is it too dark? If it's too dark, I'll make a small one. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I have batter for another one. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so let's plate this, y'all, because today, and then we'll pull up a chair and do the chat and chow, because OMG. So for presentation, I want the waffle triangles. Um, I know, I love our community. So I'm just gonna cut around the, um, and I'll get a clean plate, show you guys presentation. You know how you have the extra batter? Just to be neat, I'm going to cut around that. Now, if it were just me or if it were just the boys, you know, they would just devour it. But I'm literally just going around the edge. I know crypto is visual, so I'm just literally a little paring knife. I could rip it by hand. It looks good. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm getting excited. Okay. Y'all had me in. Y'all about to send me back to, you know, my mom is already like, my dad doesn't believe I'm cooking. Nana told me the grandbabies like her food better. <laughs> Does Lee say he want to put something in the oven? Lee, you're like a um, set it and forget it. Maybe I need to do some crock pot meals. But if I do crock pot meals, that would have to be like a two part meal because y'all not going to be sitting here for eight hours. Almost done. Just taking the um, edges off. Then we're going to put it on a clean plate. I can't wait. I'm going to taste, see how the lemon is. Of course, oh, of course you got a place like uh, Billy Gales. My best friend is also a country boy. Y'all know we were in the South and I, I made him pancakes once. He's like, Maggie, you got the mule chokers. I was like, what is a mule choker? He said, pancakes so big, they can choke a mule. I was like, okay, y'all. So we have our chaffle. And then you know with the Belgian waffle, it's got the natural grooves. So I'm going to cut this into the four sections. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But you're tasty. Christmas bacon or burnt Christmas bacon. Maybe I'll stream again and I'll save this. Someone said you would be good on a burger. So maybe I should, or BLT. Would you make a candy bacon BLT? Okay. Focus, Maggie. Oh my God. I'm gonna cut my waffle into triangles. Yeah, crock pots are great. They just take, oh, if pancakes don't have crispy edges, they're try, okay. So. Ooh, let me get another knife. Y'all got me all. I'm like, I don't know why people turn in for these shenanigans. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut the waffle. You could serve it like this fine, excuse me. But if you all saw my thumb thumbnail, which is just a Google image, I wanna get the triangles and plate them nicely. Y'all hear that crisp? EB. I didn't set a timer. I need to get better about that. I got distracted. I don't know what happened with the crispy bacon, but I burnt it. So I made, yes, I made the other one. I took it out. So this is the one that's going to go on the plate with the waffle. However, I will make a post, the burnt Christmas bacon. I actually like the taste. This is good for presentation, but any of my other scholars like stuff a little burnt? 
a little charred. You like if you're making s'mores. Don't you like it with a little bit of... <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to show something. I was going to save this, but since y'all talked it up, y'all know I got something today that I didn't want to show, but because y'all have talked it up, I actually made something. Mama Bear likes uh, burnt pizza. Okay, lead attorney. From me. You have your own. <laughs> Maggie, April. <laughs> so, whenever you're ready, sir, I had this custom made for you. I was going to give it to you as a gift. But since everybody's talking about it, I got you your own. <laughs> Let me fold it back up. That's what came, y'all, that I didn't want to show. So, Lead will have his own Maggie apron. <laughs> oh, yes. So, you guys, because of Lead Attorney, I'm telling you, I learned about all this stuff. I do have a store. So if you want Maggie merch, I am wearing the apron comes in white yellow and khaki. I love the way the white looks on camera, but I'm always nervous about staining it. I love wearing the khaki. So you can get it plain or you can customize it clearly. I got the long, has pockets. They also have the standard length. If you're a little bit, you know, shorter, like um, a little bar, apron, whatever. And then we also have kid sizes. You all ask for adult and kid sizes aprons. Oh my God. <sighs> oh. All right, y'all. I'm just, at this point, I'm just breaking it. I'm just, I don't even know anymore. Okay. So we have our crispy chaffle. Let me cut it because I don't want to tear it. <laughs> oh. Okay. So now we have four crispy waffles. Oh my God. I'm going to get a clean plate. We're going to dust them. Should I arrange them and then dust them? Yes. So yes, absolutely. I'm so grateful. Y'all know I'm always shouting out lead attorney. Um, I'm so grateful for all of his support. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> please, please. We'll make, if we need to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, look, y'all know Nana had me in the kitchen just cutting up vegetables. Everybody start somewhere. Um, but no, lead can just wear it for the taste test. I will do the cooking. So we are going to dust our lemon waffle. This is the confectioner sugar substitute. So if y'all remember, I used the brown sugar on the bacon. This is the swerve, zero calorie. The confectioner's is the powdered. All right, I'm thinking about this. I've got waffles, pull up my pants. I've got sweetener, I've got syrup, and I've got lemon zest. So this is what I do in my mind. Nana taught me that your plate Oh, somebody update Wally. It's a whole. Oh my God. Oh, you do waffle breakfast sandwich. Okay. One of the things that Nana taught me is to have different colors on your plate, especially as kids that um, introduces them into eating a variety of things. Excuse me. Yes, Wilbert. Absolutely. We'll do monk fruit next time. Absolutely. Um, but yes, Wally, 
I got the email yesterday, check my community tab, but it is a process. Lead attorney knows this or anybody who has a channel, it is a process. So if you look, I posted it yesterday. It says in progress, YouTube has to review my content to make sure that it's really me and I'm not a struggle bot. Um, and you know, once I jump through the hoops, then um, you guys will know. <laughs> Um, so we wait. I've heard anything from 24 hours to tw uh, 28 days. So I'm just going to be cooking in the meantime. All right. Let's plate. I'm going to go ahead and put our syrup in the microwave. Clean plate. Oh, you lead. Oh my God. With an apron over his suit and tie. You didn't miss it, Wally. It just happened yesterday. This is my first live stream. So when this is first live stream since the news, um, so you can go back in the morning. Oh my God. Okay. So we've got our syrup ready to drizzle. I'm not looking, I gotta focus. I do my own pictures, so presentation is important to me. So we have a plate and I am going to put our waffle triangles, kind of stack them. Okay, now I'm going to dust them with the powdered sweetener. This could be powdered sugar for you. For me, it's powdered um, swerve. Oh my God. Oh my God, y'all. All right. So start with a little bit in a spoon and then light movements back and forth. If you need more, you can do more. But if you have too much, you'll have a big clump. I'm gonna go for a little bit more. We're just doing a dusting of powdered sweetener on the lemon waffles. And then if they're still warm, you'll see them start to melt down. So this is what we have so far. Mucho gusto. Oh my God, my bots. Okay, then this is blueberry syrup. Sugar-free for me can be regular for you. I'm just gonna drizzle So the reason why I microwaved it is so I could get, oh my God, y'all. All right, then we have lemon zest. Y'all remember we shaved this? So I'm just gonna grab a print pinch and put the lemon zest all over Okay, and then just for a little garnish, I'm going to cut, I wish I had a lemon wedge. I wish I was a little bit taller. No, I don't. Just get a proper lemon, just for presentation. I'm trying to recreate the thumbnail. I'm just gonna put a little lemon there. All right. So far, so good. I'm gonna do bacon and then we'll take pictures. And then I'm sitting down, y'all. Y'all just got me all. All right, I just cut a little bit of lemon, just like the thumbnail, and then cut it in half. All right, so we have some lemon here. <sighs> okay, yes, okay. And then we've got our regular bacon, beef bacon with brown sugar. 
I feel like I need some more blueberry syrup or some blueberries. I feel like it's a lot of the same color. Trying to use all this produce before I travel. My blueberries, they look okay. Just grab a few. You know what? Christmas bacon just for you. Thanks, Mom. All right. Looks good. Y'all. Plate looks good. Okay. So I am going to take a picture. I want some more blueberry syrup. I'm not even going to lie. I do my own pictures. Y'all, this was, my God. All right. Take some pictures, then we're going to do the taste. Oh, you just got here? Take, okay, take Christmas bacon out. Okay, Christmas bacon, you really do taste good, but I'm sorry you did not make the cut. Okay, <clears throat> I'll just move my lemons over to the side and do a little bit more lemon zest. All right, so this is going to be the picture. Just lemons, blueberry syrup, lemon zest, powdered sweetener. Oh, hey, Raylin, thank you. One of my other Athens High School oh, classmates. Yeah, I'm, I'm glowing or I'm sweating because blueberry syrup, yes, Moose. Moose mo wanted me to keep this in stock, so I'm going to put more on there. Let me get a picture. Y'all, this train wreck. But we're going to eat and chat and chow. I just take pictures with my cell phone. My photographer friend said, get up close to the food. I take some with the flash, some without. So when y'all see food on my, um, this is how Maggie, the substitute teacher started. I would do all this in private and then post this and people would be like, did you make that? Yeah, I made that. So this is just me showing y'all how. Whew. All right, y'all today, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It is a labor of love. Okay. So one last before I get in there, we'll do some more blueberry syrup for mousse. If you don't like blueberry syrup, you can do, see how it goes when it cools, it's kind of thick. You can do whatever you like, but we got the photo op. All right, I'm gonna take one bite. Lemon chaffle with blueberry syrup. Little lemon Belgian chaffle. Oh my God, it's so good. The crispiness, I love a regular waffle, but the chaffle because it's thick, it gives you that texture. Y'all can see I cut into it. It gives you that thick texture. Y'all can see there. Um, the lemon inside the batter, we squeeze lemon juice. You can taste the lemon, the brightness of the lemon inside the waffle. And then the blueberry syrup gives it like this sweet, like 
creaminess. Mm. Let me get Dexley. And we're going to chat and chow. I'm going to bring y'all down and I'm going to enjoy my food and now I can focus on your comments and questions because I get a little distracted. All right. And, uh, all right, let me take my apron, get a napkin. I'll sit down. Oh, I was going to make some tea, but at this point, good grief, y'all. Now you could really eat this as finger food. So I always think y'all in my, I forgot, your breakfast is ready. Um, I always think like in my dreams, I'm going to be hosting these fancy dinner parties and twirling around. But um, like the candy bacon, if you get it unburnt, that was the first time that I had candy bacon. It was at a corporate event, like at this country club and they had this candy bacon. I was like, who does sweet and savory? It was so good. Um, if you cook it beforehand, then the brown sugar really caramelizes nicely, but y'all know what happened. But this is a great way. You could do different flavors of these like waffle little triangles and you could have them kind of like little finger foods. So see Miles, you like savory. Okay. So you like your bacon regular. Oh, Evie. for saying that y'all I'm over here like trying to keep it together trying to um I like sweet and savory but yeah this is really good you could get a fork and knife my etiquette teacher would say that because honestly here's your etiquette lesson for the day if you're going to eat finger food if you're going to serve finger food it should be bite size meaning you can eat all of it in one bite it's not elegant to remove food from your mouth, but mmm, mmm. I know it should not take two hours to make breakfast, y'all. This is really good, and honestly. This is not in the picture, but I just put some fresh blueberries on top. It's really good because it kind of brings down the brightness of the lemon. I like lemon, but the lemon and the uh, blueberry, the lemon inside and the blueberry outside. Okay, Wilbert. Let's go back to the burnt bacon. So if y'all remember, we did two with just cinnamon and two. Y'all, doesn't this look like one of those barbecue shows where they have the stuff, they open the smoker and it looks like something died in there. So Wilbert wants to know if I could taste the nutmeg. Let's see. As a matter of fact, I can. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. This is good. Let me tell you something. I'm a huge, I love flavor, but I'm a huge texture person. And this burnt bacon, you know how when you bite down and it's kind of crispy, but then when you like start to chew, how it just kind of disintegrates in your mouth. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's so good. You love burnt bacon? Okay. So we did bacon with brown sugar substitute cinnamon, and a dash of nutmeg. 
If you like those warming spices, those warming flavors, now that it's cooled completely, y'all doesn't look good, but Do y'all have me all embarrassed? So I made another batch. This is like regular bacon, but if it were just me, all right. Mm-hmm. Nutmeg is a good compliment to meat. Thank you, Caudel. <clears throat> it sounds scrumptious. Can you hear me chewing on it? Because y'all can tell, right? When you chew on something that's um like crispy like that. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna scroll back and see what I missed. I'm almost afraid to. Let me take another turn. Mm, Y'all, this lemon shuffle. Mm. Mm. You're right, Maria. If I gotta put a big old piece in my mouth, cause Nana's watching. I'm supposed to be taking delicate lady bites. Y'all, I've been waiting two hours to eat. Messing with y'all. <laughs> Let me get my coffee. But yeah, I don't want a big old picture of myself. Okay, let's see, what did I miss? So Ray Lynn wants to know, do the boys like my type of eating? You really wanna do some different modifications for the family. Oh, the chair swirl. Look, cause y'all, y'all already know. Y'all, I gotta, look, nobody asked me to do this. It's just me. But to like host the show and cook and eat, it's a lot. Um, I have two teenage boys, 13 and almost 15. They dang near anything. I have seen them when I have cooked for them, they will put the food at their chin and literally just scrape it. In. I'm just like, were you raised by wolves? Here's some changes that I've made. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> I still keep a lot of the regular stuff in the house, but when it comes to the kids, I've made a lot of changes like condiments and beverages. Y'all will hear me talk about that. You can still have a lot of the same stuff, but if you make some changes in what you drink, like my skinny syrups, the boys use that. Um, but when they reach for ketchup, they have this ketchup. It just tastes like ketchup. They don't know. Chocolate syrup, this is what they use. So I slowly started to change. That's a change that you can make when it comes to the kids. Um, King Hawk, I know, but I'm supposed to be elegant. Eat it now, taste it later. But, um, you know, you'll see, I actually have a little series I put together because I'm traveling next week. Um, you know, when it comes to the kids, you know, learning what they like. So I guess, Raylan, let me know what the boys really like to eat and I, would tell, I will tell you how I would prepare it. But I've made some changes like, um, they still like their regular like milk and cheeses. They're not too keen on the goat's cheese. They will eat it, but they like their regular stuff. And I have all that. I have the Kraft. I have the Philadelphia. I have all that stuff. Um, Marcus likes the beef bacon. Um, but you know what it is. We all eat with our eyes first. And because I make my plates look so scrumptious, they're just like, Mom, what is that? And I'm like, go over there, have your corn dog. That's what you wanted. You know what I mean. But when they see my plate, then they're just like, ooh, ah. Um, and so it gets them tasting it. So those are some of the things that I do. Mm-hmm. So Moose is talking about sugar substitutes. He's right. So... There are some things that are plant-based and there are some things that are laboratory-based. Now, if you're trying to eat really clean, you'll want to go with stevia and monk fruit because those grow from the earth. Aspartame, if that's how you say it, and Splenda. My skinny syrups do have Splenda. Um, 
those are laboratory made. So look, like I said, I'm not the food police. I say start where you can, do what you you know, do what works for you. Um, sorry, but yeah, absolutely. You like corn dogs? I love corn dogs. Mm hmm. No king hawk, the beef bacon. They actually actually slice it like bacon. I had never seen it before. One of our scholars turned us onto it. Marcus would destroy this. He's still sleeping. He had swim last night. So, um, but yeah, Ray Lynn, absolutely. That's what I'm here to do, y'all. Again, I'm no professional, but, you know, I am a mom and a home cooker, and I understand, you know, feeding families. And um, like Moose said, this is my midlife passion project. I'm just putting some lemon on my, um, what are these? Waffles. Okay, so Moose wants to know if I have batter for the corn dogs. Not yet, but I've seen one. I can get hot dogs, put them on a stick, batter them and fry them. I'll have to find a substitution for that. That's a good idea. Corn, do corn dogs sound great. Ingredients advisor. Migraines, yeah, different people struggle with different things. Y'all, this is so good. I'm not even going to lie to y'all with the blueberries and the blueberry syrup. Crunchy. Ah. Hmm. Morning, Gail. Congratulations on your channel. I'm already eating up our lemon blueberry chaffle with bacon. Oh man, I want some more syrup. I want some more, I want it all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to be elegant here. Some of y'all are like, your eating is torturing me. So I'm sorry. So I do cooking in case we have any new scholars here. I cook in the beginning and then this is the chat and chow person person. Okay. Caudel, your sucrin honey. Um, they, are they out of stock? Oh, the Hershey's chocolate. Absolutely. My dear. So you can get all kind of uh, zero sugar versions. Um, the sucrin honey, Sometimes I buy directly from Sucrin or Walmart, and I'll show you guys what Caudel is talking about. All right, I think this one is uh, natural, but this comes from, I don't know, the Netherlands. This is a sugar-free, this is my honey substitute. You can also use it as a syrup. I've gotten this from Amazon. I've gotten it from walmart.com or directly. You can go to like, I think, sucrin.com or something like that. And um, they'll let you know what stores carry it in your area. I'm going to put some extra on here. Oh, yeah. So um, y'all have seen me make the sopapilla and all kind of stuff with the syrup. If you don't like the blueberry syrup. Okay, yeah, Moose, so hopefully you saw this. This is my honey substitute. You can use it as honey, you can use it as syrup. When I make the sopapilla, this is what I drizzle on it. So I just put some of that on our lemon. Amazon doesn't have it? I thought it was, um... Oh, Maria, you tried what? The sucrin? You're a convert is of the sucrin? Moose, I don't know. Just sugar. I mean... 
here's the thing. I don't count I don't count calories or carbs, but everything that I eat per my metabolic specialist needs to be under six grams of sugar. So this gives me the honey experience without, you know, the sugar. What are y'all talking about? I missed it. What's creamy? I want to know. I want to know. No, it's I want it all. Sorry, y'all. I just burst out into song. Oh, yeah, because y'all know. Y'all be like, Maggie, we're on this show. <laughs> Scraping her plate, inhaling her food. Then Nana texts me corrections during my live stream. Lady, Remember your lady bites. So it's just easier for me to turn around. Y'all know I'm eating this stuff. Thank you, Moose. Oh, absolutely, Living Out Loud. Let me know what are some of your um, sweet cravings. Uh, last time Lead was on, we did a charcuterie board. It didn't start off that way, but I made, I'm scared to say it, I made a struggle lemon cake. I made brownie brittle, which is still here. <clears throat> we made brownie brittle and, oh my God, a creme brulee to die for. Still have some of this brownie brittle. Mm, with the flaky sea salt. Let me keep my lemon palette going. Mm, nice, rich chocolate. Mm. Pretty much everything I make is sugar-free, dairy-free. Oh, here. Okay. Living out loud. Um, cookies and pastries. Let me know if there's uh, something specific you want me to try. We just did a creme brulee. It was excellent. Brownie brittle and cookies. Have I made cookies? I don't think I've made cookies. Let me tell you something about the sugar. I love sugar too. That was probably the hardest thing to cook, to cook, to cut. But the more you, the less you eat of it, the less you want. It is hard in the beginning. For the first 10 days, I was cranky. I was just miserable, nauseous, everything. But it's almost like a detox to get it out of your system. And then honestly, you want less of it. Mmm, ginger snaps. That's a great one. If you have a recipe, send me your recipe. Oh, that's right, Belle. We made the um, cracker coffee. Let me plug up, y'all. Oh my God, that was so good. Hold on, I need to plug up. Y'all, it's just me and my iPad. One moment. <sighs> Sorry, this is gonna shake. Okay. Sorry, y'all. If you uh, were wondering if you needed a fancy equipment to have a YouTube channel, you do not. But yes, we made that cracker toffee. I may have to do that again. And look, I'm falling apart. Which way? And Because you know it's reversed. Reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse, y'all. This is my, this is what goes on in my head. Ooh, key lime. That sounds good. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Moose, you missed the cracker toffee? I haven't had my cracker yet. <sighs> I can make it now. I'm confused. So the cracker toffee. Oh my God. It is amazing. Even Mona's kids recreated it. Mmm. 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 Okay. 
Anything y'all want me to try, this is great. Inbox me if you have a recipe, then I can use my substitutions. If you don't have a recipe, inbox me the name. So I'll, cause y'all, I will clean up and I'll be like, what did they say? I will forget. The cracker toffee is an excellent no bake dessert. Um, I saw this recipe on Food Network and the ingredients are simple. It's a sleeve of saltine crackers. I don't eat saltine crackers. So I use my substitute like rice crackers, crunch master, any gluten-free cracker. You lay that down on a sheet. Y'all we're gonna make this. You lay that down with the boys still asleep. Oh my God, I have the kitchen to myself. You lay down your crackers on a sheet on parchment paper, just cold out of the wrapper. And then in the microwave, you melt butter and sugar, and I think a little bit of salt, if I'm remembering correctly. So you basically make this bubbly, syrupy, ooey gooey toffee. While it's still hot, this part I wouldn't let kids do, but you have your, um, thank you whoever just ordered the Scentsy, you have your crackers on parchment paper, like on a baking tray. You pour the liquid gold all over them. It's hot, so be careful. Pour that while it's hot. And you wanna have that nice little pool of liquid on your crackers. While the toffee is still warm, you get chocolate chips. I use, I use sugar-free, you can use whatever you like. You sprinkle your chocolate chips over the hot toffee. Leave it for a minute. The chocolate chips will start to melt into the toffee. I'm having a moment talking about this. Then you get a spatula and you just smear it on there because they've softened now. So you have a cracker layer, a toffee layer, a chocolate layer, and then you just get a little bit of salt, flaky sea salt and sprinkle on there and then you put it in the fridge and leave it to cool. And just like the bacon, it's like one big sheet of heaven and you just snap, crackle. If you like sweet and salty, y'all, I am literally having a moment here. Sounds delicious. We can make it because it's so easy. I'll make it for you. Let me finish this. So this will be a two part. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Y'all, it's sugar free, dairy free, gluten free. I'm going to make it for you. Let me finish my breakfast. I'm going to take two more turn bites and we're going to make it. This will be a two part. So we're going to make it and I'll show y'all how it's made. And then I'm just going to put it in the fridge. And I'll go live again later today. I'll go live this evening. We'll take it out of the fridge and taste it then. Because this is one of those that you got to make and let it sit. But it is so good. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm sugar-free does not mean I don't have sweet. Let me find the recipe while I'm... So good. And that's the kind of stuff I make my own desserts. I'm just pulling up the recipe. I got it from Food Network. I have the app on my phone. By now, I kind of have it memorized, but I'm just looking at the steps. One moment. Mmm. 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 Almost done. Okay. So the proper name, I don't know if y'all can see that microwave cracker toffee. So if you're looking it up, that's the one. So line a cookie sheet with parchment paper, put the saltines on the parchment paper, sugar, salt, and water. I, I'm skipping the water. This recipe, if you make it it's for a sleeve of saltines, y'all, which is like 
I don't know, 20 something. I'm not making that many. One of the things I love about this is you can pare it down. So if I'm just doing like a handful, just put like a spoon of butter, a spoon of um, um, sweetener in there and you're good to go. I'll make a small portion so y'all can see. That way it won't take as long to cool. Last bite. Mmm. I eat two fruits a day. I don't like tiramisu. I'll try to make it, but I've tried it a couple times. It's just maybe I didn't have a good one, but it doesn't do anything for me. All right. Four steps. Step one, line your cookie sheet with parchment paper, put the saltines on it. Step two, butter, sugar, and salt in a microwave bowl. It says water. I'm not doing the water. Microwave until the mixture turns golden. Pour it. Yeah, we can do this. Y'all, let's make it. No, Diary of Bell Rose, I'm making an impromptu dessert. Mm -hmm. Okay, standing up, I'm gonna clean up. If I missed a question, because I didn't scroll all the way back, just put it in there. We'll go 15 more minutes. I'll make this cracker toffee a small portion. And then we'll put it in the fridge. What is panna cotta? I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Mmm. Baklava. I just need to have those, uh, what are they? Those little pastry paper things? You know what I mean. One minute. I love it. Y'all gonna keep me cooking forever. I gotta get the rest of this weight off. When I'm in weight loss mode, I try to eat like really, you know. But hey, I've been eating this way and I'm keeping off 80 pounds, so something is working. Y'all, this Christmas bacon, don't sleep on the Christmas bacon. It looks janky, but y'all would eat this. I would say, oh no, that's the messed up batch. And then I'd come back and it'd be gone. All right. Let's leave bacon for the boy. Let's leave it for the boy. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So when my son wakes up, he can have both versions. It was good. Honestly, if you're gonna make the candy bacon, put it on before, let it caramelize. This version is okay, but I don't like the brown sugar on after. Nah. Philo, there it is. See, I love my scholars. Y'all know I don't know. Let's leave it for the boy. Focus, Maggie. Let me clean off my counter. I'm gonna make y'all the cracker toffee. I'm <laughs> making you smile. Let's leave it for the boy. All right, just load the dishwasher. We'll use this one. <laughs> Maggie Radio. Y'all, if it weren't like a copyright thing, I would so have a soundtrack. If you heard the music in my head. Dun, 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 dun. All right, clean it up. <sighs> Look, you got to live your life um, in all honesty, you know. I love how you all accept me and all of my quirks because I accept you, but you know, just being in the office and being corporate for so long, and I, I am so appreciative of all my corporate experience, but you know, you conform, keep it together. I can't bust a move when I want to, so I do it for y'all. Exactly. Cleaning up.
Sorry, y'all. This is not a proper show where anybody comes behind me. If I don't do it, it doesn't get done. So just give me two seconds. I clean as I go. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, uh. I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you a few. I think I'm going to use Mary's Gone. I think I'm going to use Mary's Gone today. Um, I also have Crunch Mackers. Crunch Masters. Okay, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm old and I just stood up. So I'm not going anywhere, but we're going to have a little music break. Because I have to take a bio break. I don't know how lead attorney does it, but whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm giving y'all some music. Then I'm going to, you'll see me cleaning up. And I'm going to take a, you know, uh, take a bio break, wash my hands and come back with the crackers. So I'm just putting some music on. Because look, it's just me. All right. Oh, thank y'all for liking the video. Let me go catch up. Bye.
Okay, class, this won't take long at all. We're just gonna make cracker toffee. We'll be done in under 10 minutes and we're gonna put it in the fridge and then I will schedule a part two when it comes out of the fridge so you all can see. Put my apron back on. Gotta get my uniform on. I'm gonna go with the Costa Rica apron. I'm just, you know, that white one is so pretty, but um, since I'm dealing with chocolate, aprons are my souvenir, so. All right. <clears throat> So Maria had a question about the crackers that I use. Again, this recipe is a Food Network recipe called Microwave Cracker Toffee, and it's supposed to be made on saltines, but let me show you my first substitute. All right, I'm gonna give you guys, oh, thank you, Marie Marie. I'm gonna give you guys three options. So we have these Mary's Gone Sea Salt Crackers. What are they made with? I don't know, something healthy. But these have been approved for me. I like them. They're almost like, I wouldn't say like buttery, like, what are those rectangle crackers that are like Keebler? I don't know. Like a little drier version of that not as buttery but this is really good so maybe we'll use these i also like these crunch master crackers have been approved for me these are made with i don't know healthy stuff um grain i don't know what does it say rice crackers okay so if you can't have flour i can have 16 of these so these are an option and then I also have these clubhouse, okay. Oh, Good Thins, gluten-free rice crackers made with uh, Simply Salt. So I don't know if anybody has a preference. Can't hold them. Here's one thing I will say. Saltine crackers, because of their shape and they are a square, you can pack them in and make one nice little sheet. So when you pour your stuff in it, nothing's gonna seep through. So keep that in mind if you're using like round crackers, you wanna use Mary's Gone, okay. Uh, or the Crunch Mackers, Crunch Masters. So y'all wanna use Mary's Gone, you got it. I haven't had those absolutely, um, maybe, oh, I was gonna say Maria post a link. Uh oh, she's gonna cuss me out. Let us know, but I haven't heard of that one. All right, so we're opening our Mary's Gone. And y'all can see they do have different flavors. So this one is just sea salt. I like it. Uh, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay, got that out of my system. They have rosemary. They have garlic. Oh, Avell used the townhouse crackers. So you can do this with regular crackers too. Let us know how they were. Yeah, see Miles, Mary's Gone is really good. Also... Y'all, I say anything here. I don't know what's in it. Healthy stuff. I don't know. Um, but it tastes good. I'm going to tell you if it tastes good. I'm going to tell you if it doesn't. But um, also, the Mary's Gone Crackers, when I do the crab cakes or anytime you need a panko breadcrumb substitute, you can crush these up too. Or breading for tenders. Y'all, I know I'm bad at that stuff, y'all. My disclaimers in the beginning are real. I am not a proper chef. There's a name for it. I don't know. Healthy stuff. All right, so let's open our Mary's Gone. You know, if you get an apron or whatever, you can, you can put that on the apron. I don't know. Healthy stuff. So we've got our Mary's Gone crackers. Mmm. Okay. Get so excited. Every time I have one of these live streams and I talk to my best friend who's like my social media consultant, I'm like, but I'm not an expert. He was like, there are so many experts out there. 
If they wanted experts, they wouldn't be watching you. So that has just set me free. Oh, crypto got the cauliflower chips. Okay, let's go get them. You might be talking about from the ground up, but if anybody likes Latin flavors, you can get tortilla chips made from cauliflower and they're actually really good. This is a great substitution for me. Chips. Soundboard. Um, Bill already said, and you're gonna see this in my blooper reel and in new videos, my sound effect should be a sizzle when I'm holding up the stuff for y'all and it's sizzling. Okay, focus Maggie. My light went off. Okay. So you need parchment paper. This came from the Dollar Tree. It used to be a dollar, now one twenty-five. It's just parchment paper, which is different from wax paper. I learned the hard way. Can you use foil? Maybe. I don't know. But parchment paper has been treated with silicone. So it's great for non-stick. So you can use this for baking and in the air fryer. Yes. So you can get it on a roll, like aluminum foil. This is like a pop-up sheet that would go on a baking dish. I'm not using that. I'm thinking because do I want to put that big old dish in my fridge? No. So I'm using one of my air fryer trays, which is, you know, this size. So I'm just laying this on here. I'll tuck the edges in, but what I got but you definitely want the parchment paper okay yes and crypto let me know how you had the cauliflower tortilla chips did you do chips and salsa nachos taco salad excuse me okay so I'm gonna take my Mary's gone crackers this could be saltine crackers or whatever you like on the parchment paper just plain out of the bag I can have 16 per day. I ate one, so I'm counting 15. And when I'm counting, because I'm greedy, I like to get the ones that are whole crackers and not broken. Y'all know you want the big piece. I'm not the only one. Y'all not going to make me feel like I'm the greedy, only greedy one. Oh, it wasn't those? Yeah, it was from the ground up. I have those. I have the stalks. I have all kind of stuff. But yes, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I'll go grab the bag maybe in a second. Okay, not only because I'm greedy... But because of what I said with putting these on a tray, I'm trying to get the ones that are as uniform as possible. Because what I'm doing is, you see how they're on the tray? I'm going to try and move them together to make it as close to a sheet as possible. I know crypto is visual. So I'm just going to imagine making one big, I don't know, square. So hopefully y'all can see. So I just push them together. Mmm. Okay, yucca fries. Yeah, that's another thing. Cassava is yucca. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's put away the crackers. All right, I used my gravy boats, but that's fine. I'll get something I can pour. Now, if you're doing this per the recipe, it says a sleeve of crackers, not doing that, 24 crackers, one whole stick of butter, not doing that, one whole cup of sugar, not doing that. I'm probably going to quarter the recipe. When you make it the first time, 
you can make it, you know, the proper way. And then I just adjust up or down. All right. So we need butter and sugar and a dash of salt, a pinch of salt. Okay, so on this one, I usually use glass bowls just to be fancy, but on this one, I am using a glass bowl intentionally because we wanna watch the color change. We're gonna use sugar, and we wanna take it out when it turns brown like toffee, but it starts white, then yellow, then brown, then Christmas bacon. Okay, if you can have regular butter, have some for me. Y'all know I avoid cow dairy, so I am using this Delamere goat's butter. Got it from Whole Foods. Absolutely, King Hawk. Thank you. Y'all come in and out of class as needed. I'll be here. All right. So let's see. I'll slice some butter off. So it's just looks like, cooks like, tastes like butter. Oh, I haven't had. Yeah, I saw the plant-based butter. I haven't tried it. So the recipe calls for a whole stick of butter. I'm not doing this. This probably is like two tablespoons. Enough. And then it calls for a whole cup of sugar. I'm not doing that. So this is the, the, uh, the third version of the swerve. So we have the granular, which is the crystals. We have the brown, which went on the Christmas bacon. And then we have the confectioners that we dusted on the chaffle. I heard, I seen the Miyoko's. Oh, Maria, y'all, let me hurry up. I got calls too. So this is our swerve granular teaspoon. I'll do two teaspoons, maybe like a tablespoon. How much? I don't know. Enough for it to melt down and like a pinch. I'm using the Himalayan pink sea salt. Use what you have. Just brings out a little bit of the sweet. Okay. Now you're going to microwave it. It says, do not stir. It says to add water. I'm not adding water because I like it thick. Um, so we just have butter and sugar and the pink sea salt. Cracker toffee. All right, so I'll show you, but I'm going to go over there and keep my eye on it. This is a Food Network recipe. It's called Microwave Cracker Toffee. Someone said they had a sweet tooth, so I'm showing you a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free dessert. So I need to keep an eye on this because it can go from solid to liquid to bubbling to burnt fast. Okay. So we're not there yet. So y'all can see our butter is melted. Notice it's that butter color. We want toffee color. So I would just do like 20 or 30 second increments. The recipe says microwave on high until the mixture just begins to turn lightly golden. It says about eight minutes. I'm not doing eight minutes. Oh, is this the butter you like? A little bit darker yellow, but not golden. I'm going to get our chocolate out. Oh, you like this? Thank you. It's all going to donate because it's too big, but I don't know. I'll look and see. 
think these are Walmart jeggings. These are Rothy's um, little flats. And um, I don't know, I gotta see. Might be Old Navy. All right, still just it's getting a little yellower, but not golden. Living my life like it's golden. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. y'all see we got that light golden brown hot all right okay sorry okay focus Maggie okay so here's the thing don't let the kids do this we have our gluten-free rice crackers could be saltines could be Nestle Toll House use what you like and we have our sugar or sugar substitute and butter and a little bit of salt. This is why I like my gravy boats, but I use them up. So you wanna pour this onto the crackers. I'm bringing y'all down. Buckle up, buttercup. I'm bringing y'all down. Down, 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 down. Oh, it's low, 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 low. I went too far. What did I do, Maria? Okay, y'all. Oh. Move so y'all can see. It's too much. And you, you want to do this before it starts to... Okay. So you see our crackers. And you see our... I'm just stirring this up. Stir it up on the counter. This is our butter and sugar and a little bit of salt. I didn't do any water. Low, 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 low. Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back to you and answer that question. Let me pour this before it starts to toffee eyes. I don't know if that's a word. So what you do is you pour this on top of your crackers. Now mine might be a little ashy. Oh, it's hot. Hold on. Just be careful. That's why I like my gravy boat in all seriousness because that handle stays really cool. Okay, I probably should have done some more, but do you all see what's happening here? Let me hold it. So we have the toffee and it goes from hot to starting to solidify pretty quickly. That's why you wanna move kind of fast, but carefully. So then at this point, while it's still hot, you put your chocolate chips on it. I have lots of options, but I'm just gonna use what I have that's open. This is the Lily's, no sugar added. This is semi-sweet. So this would be my substitute for like a Nestle Toll House or whatever. So here's the thing. I'll do a little bit more. I'm sure there's a measurement in there. How much? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit on the warm cracker, toffee, and wait for a second. So there was a question. Okay, so Ray Lynn says, what's the butter and sugar substitutes? Okay, so I am dairy free. So this is what I use, Delamere goat's butter. This you can get at Whole Foods or order online. It's butter made from goat's milk. Looks like, cooks like, tastes like butter. I use this in everything. So you get that butter flavor experience without dairy. So this keeps it dairy free. Okay. And then sugar. Back to the swerve. This is the swerve. This is the granular. So this is the one that gives you the table sugar substitute. The swerve granular. 
my zero calorie. This is what keeps it sugar free. So for this, we use the granular. Earlier for the bacon, we use the brown. And then for the waffles, for dusting, we use the confectioners. So Swerve, you can get the three pack or you can buy them separate. The reason why for this recipe, you want to use the granular is because of the color change. If you remember when we put it in there, it was white and I microwaved it, what, like two minutes in 30 second increments checking it because you want to catch it before it becomes like molasses. If you start with the brown sugar, it might be harder to tell. Okay, hopefully I answered your questions. All right, how much? I don't know. Okay, follow the recipe, but the recipe says use a whole sleeve of saltines. I'm not doing that. You're welcome, sweetheart. Okay, so now that I've been running my mouth, can y'all see, remember how the chocolate chips were ashy? before y'all know what chocolate chips look like remember how they were dusty and then this is just the heat from the hot lava toffee so this is what we're going to do get a spatula on the warm cracker toffee you're just going to spread it because they've softened now so you see what's happening All right, if I had more chocolate or maybe more toffee, I'd have a nice um, glassy layer, but y'all see what I'm doing. So it's the heat from the toffee that melts the chocolate chips. So you just spread it all out. Kids can help with this part. Looks kind of crazy, but it's good. And when you sprinkle your chocolate chips on there, and you can see why having the crackers that are like square shaped, that way you don't have big gaps and you get cracker, toffee, and chocolate in each bite. And again, this is just that melted butter and sugar, that, that residual heat. Okay. So y'all see what's happening here. It doesn't look pretty, but you know what? It is all right. Y'all still gonna eat it. Okay. Honestly, I should have done some more toffee. This should be like one thin sheet of chocolate. Oh, that's what's next. That's the last step. If you wanna do nuts, you could do nuts. Okay, they're softening up. But yeah, that's the last step. Before we put this in the refrigerator and sign off, we're gonna put some flaky sea salt on it. Sea salt always, or you know, flaky salt always brings out, excuse me, the sweetness. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, sorry. It doesn't have to be perfect because when this is done, we're gonna snap it into like jagged, like brownie brittle kind of, um, sections but here's the thing this is what i like when i'm craving a sweet tooth then i make a small portion of this you could make half you could make a whole sheet if it's for the family and that way you control instead of buying like a big old box of oreos like i would do and then you have two of them and that's really all you wanted but then you still have this big cake and you know big stuff in the house and y'all know we keep going back for more okay all right, so you see what we got going on here. Could be softer, but y'all be all right. And then any flaky sea salt you have, I just have this Hawaiian sea salt, but you do want to get the one that says flake because that stands up over, um, you know, your baking things like this. If you use the one that's like um, sprinkle sea salt, you won't be able to see it. It'll just go in. So you can see these are like the, the big jagged pieces of sea salt. Ah, oh, Maria says, or coconut shavings. Yeah, you could doctor this up however you like. Whatever you like. And that's it. So now this is going to go in the fridge. Let me come up. Field trip. 
So this is gonna go in the fridge just like this and it will cool. And so the chocolate, oh yeah. While it's warm, anything you want on top of your cookie bar, you put on top of your cookie bar. This would be fun for the kids. You could make four or however many separate little toffee bars, lay out little toppings for them, and then everybody could make their own, put it in the fridge, let it cool. When they come back, everybody has their own little candy bar. Yes, yeah, substitute chocolate chips. Real chocolate, lilies. Sorry, it's open on the end. I don't want it to fall out. No sugar added. So I can have these from time to time. Couple options. Another one, Choc Zero chocolate chips. Are these zero chocolate, I don't, zero sugar? Yeah, no sugar added. So basically the sugar that's already in there is all you have. And then another plant-based one, Lakanto sugar-free. This one is made with monk fruit. going in the fridge custard all right so I will stream again later today gonna get some work done and I know y'all are tired I'm gonna clean up and um, it will solidify and we have one big sheet we'll take it it'll come right up off the parchment paper and then we'll snap crackle and pop them in our mouth super easy exactly all you need is any cracker butter and sugar or substitutes, any chocolate, and then any toppings. So again, this is something that you can make with substituted ingredients, gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, or you can make the full flavor. Make a big sheet tray, get a whole thing of saltines, make them for the kids, they'll love it. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. How long does it take to cool? I don't know, an hour. I guess it depends on how much you've made, but make it and then go run some errands or whatever. Cause if you make it and you're home and you keep opening the fridge and it's looking at you and you're looking at it, it's going to be tempting. Okay. All right, everyone. That is it for morning class. Class is dismissed. Thank you all again. I don't have to say it anymore. We're not always almost there. We have checked all four boxes. So um, Y'all will know when I know when Google finishes reviewing me, but I thank you all for everything. Um, let's have our Friday and then, you know, tonight I'll be back doing something. I don't know. I think Marcus wants tacos. Who knows, y'all? I'll figure it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it so much. If I missed your question, just inbox me and in inbox me any recipes or desserts. All right. Goodbye, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook and YouTube class is dismissed.